anyway, when I drive a truck, I said, I'm going to make a He didn't have a lot of salary, but he managed to raise five kids. One of them is not his. And he, this one child didn't even notice. Sorry, I don't belong. Not at, not once did that man say or insinuate or made me feel like I'm not his child. I don't know. Who, who, you don't know like, who would be arrested. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but there might be something like that. <laughs> There might be careers that are finished. Oh, no. Whose career? We I, don't know. I don't know. It depends <laughs> who I find in bed with my... It might be a CEO of some company. <laughs> Maybe his career might be finished. Maybe mine. I Maybe don't your know. career. I don't Maybe know. her career. Maybe her career. <laughs> Every shot. They could not edit me out because I was there. <laughs> if the shot is on Sunny, I'll be there. And I would tell him that his, con his uh, dialogue is going to be finished. I will go around the bar. I'll be behind you when you speak that side. Imagine that. They couldn't edit me out. <laughs> You're I refuse. You're in every scene. I refuse to be edited out. King King David Studio Podcast. He started up as a barman. <laughs> Actually, as an extra. <laughs> nah. And the people who take being extras for granted, they don't realize the value of it. And he ended up becoming a big shot on TV and is right here today. Mm. However, we'll clarify that because you know him as Mokebe. Mm. It's Tingan. Outiak. Mebra. Ukraine. Agamnad. Kisha. Eitara. Um, 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 Finally. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so you've been watching Ever Demon. I have. Ever Demon. Ah, Grabara Demon and Timara Nag and Dinna Wai Kasabi. Interesting. The reality of it is there's just many of you. I know. Uh, I and know. I'll tell you when I say many of you, I mean many of great South Africans with an interesting story. Many of us who've got better stories than I can I can tell, or better stories than mine. And I get surprised uh, very often when the, the uh, great stories are everyday, ordinary folks. Definitely. Uh, you know, it's not the TV star. Yeah. It's the ordinary folk. And it's always so exciting when, because I do that. I talk to strangers all the time. You know, I, I get up. This morning, I saw this lady. She had a mark on her neck. Yeah. And I said, should I be asking? You thought it was a love bite. Well, she said, yes, you can. Please do ask. Okay. And we get, okay. Uh, it and then? was. Do you have a great weekend? Are, yeah. It was beautiful. Okay. Look, look at you, interested. <laughs> <laughs> and it was beautiful. <laughs> Should I call it for what it is? Is it a love bite? But yeah, but I was given by God. But no joy God. Hey, man. Are it's a love, it's a, it's a, it's a birthmark. It's a birthmark. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and it was oh, given by okay, God. Okay, Are okay. Are you God? Yes. She's very lucky. She's very, lucky. She's very, very lucky. Very lucky. How has life been? Interesting. Interesting. Life has been interesting, my brother. Life has, life has been life. Yeah. It's got its ups and it's got its downs. But me being the guy, the kind of guy I am, always looking at it last half full. Yeah. I would say more. Ups than downs. Than downs, eh? Yeah. And when when we talk uh, life, because mm. it it starts way back yeah. naturally, you know, yeah. the time you were born, where you were born. Your story says Limpopo, but you'll no. clarify that. Yeah, that's what I okay. say. Okay. That's why I even put in you'll clarify okay. that yes. because I know when I, I when I look at your surname that you grew up with, it's like never. This is not yeah. a Limpopo surname. No. But anyway, let me ask. Yes. Wh where were you born? I was born in Katlehu. Okay. Natal Spray. Grew up all over South Africa. Went to Mutu, uh, Nkologoto, went to Senegal, yeah, grew up man. in Carltonville. Uh, father ended up being in Rustenburg. So, I, Limpopo, I've never... I don't even know where the Limpopo thing comes from. Have you ever slept in Limpopo? I have. <laughs> I shoot Mama Zala. So, <laughs> if you watch Mama Zala, you would know we're always in Limpopo. That's true. Eh? <laughs> exactly. So, so that's as far as your relationship goes yes. with Limpopo, as yes. a guy who's passing by. I don't even have cousins or any relatives in Limpopo. I don't know where that comes from. I have no idea. One journalist just woke up one day, which is why we always say to people, don't believe everything you read. That's true. Because there was a day where I'm sort of to... Derail. No, 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 go ahead. It was a day where we were still doing door to door with SABC2. Yes. But it was SABC uh, putting together productions from oh, SABC okay. and selling them. It was a road show. Oh, yes. They yes. used to call it door to door. Yes. And we got to Polokwane. When we were in Polokwane, you know people who ask for pictures. Mm. So this lady came and she was carrying, I think the child was about a year old or something like mm -hmm. that. I can't be really sure. And she asked for a picture. No, so I don't see a problem. I take the picture. Three weeks later, I get a call from a journalist. There was, she was still big at the time. Of course, yeah. 
So she says, yeah. I can tell where I, the story's going. Well, now you left a child in, in, in <laughs> Poloko. And I said, nah. And yes. I start thinking, Uri, have I ever had a girlfriend in Poloko? Me? Kira, no. Mm. Not me. Yes. But of course, Utoha and I Yeah. And then, Kira, no, send me the picture of this woman. They send me that picture of me, the woman, and the and child. And the child. Likely for me, the person who took the picture was the spokesperson of SABC at that time, Prakiza Khanyaho. And I said, okay, <laughs> if this is the picture, call this man, ask him who took the picture, ask him when, when, when the picture was taken. And what was happening there? That's how I survived. What? Otherwise, I would have been in the papers that I neglected a child in Polokwani. I have a child. <laughs> I'm, a, uh, I'm, a, I'm trash. I'm the, I, would, I would have been there. Yeah. You survived that I one. survived. Some it. men don't. Yeah, of course. Yeah, some men struggle Eish. to get out of Eish. a lie that was created for whatever Eish. reason. My brother, we've got guys in jail because of stuff like this. You, wow. I, I, when I say you started out as a a, a bar, bar man, man mm. it really started out as an extra. That's exactly how it was. How did the extra bit come about? Because I know there's always people walking up and down going ABC da, and no, oh, I'm shooting good generations, mm. and they are walking past the cameras. <laughs> there's a difference between Nabara. Uh, I know where I come from. Yeah, and I made a vow that I'm never going back there. Okay. When I got the opportunity through Sophie Ndava, who used to play Queen mm -hmm. on Generations, when I got that opportunity, I saw it as yes, it was an extra job. But because of the drive and the hunger that I had, yeah. I had to make most of what I had. Yeah. People started saying, hey, this guy doesn't talk. I was not talking, but I was very visible. Of course. I made sure that you noticed that skinny, skinny guy yeah. behind the bar. <laughs> I would make sure because I was very smart. When they were plotting and they were saying, no, when I sign, you'll be here, when I, you'll be here. Mm, when I, mm. I would sit there and look. I'm like, okay, the camera is on Sunny when he says this. Yeah. I'll be behind him. <laughs> so so people see you in line of sight. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be behind him just doing nothing. I'd be behind him cleaning a class or spinning a bottle or, or something. <laughs> yes. So that even when he says he's lying, but the attention will come to me. Yeah. And guess what? I got the attention. You did, eh? You know, you know. I remember when I saw your career, how it grew. It reminded me of that guy who used to say, "Ogum <laughs> shope." Gadi, gadi, gadi. Uh, Good job. Yes, exactly. He was, uh, he was, he was just a weather guy, and he became a famous weather guy. <laughs> We've never had one before. He ended up being, a, he ended up singing and having a song, "Ogum shope." Dude, appearing in ads. My brother, we would miss the news and just wait for the weather. <laughs> because we know Ogum Klop is coming. Am I right to make that observation about Of course. It? Yeah. You are spot on, my brother. You are spot on. <laughs> that guy was just there. You know, I've seen a, I saw a clip one day of a guy, you know, the pi not pilots, um, air hostess. Mm. I don't know what you call them. Yeah, when they flight are, attendants. When, flight attendants. People. That's yes. the right word. Yeah. yeah. This guy, flight attendants are flight attendants. Mm. They do their job. They show you the exits, blah, 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 where the mm. toilets are. Mm. This guy, I saw a clip. I was like, yes. wow. This guy, he was the one giving directions, but he was doing it in rap. What? He was killing it. It stood out, obviously. It stood out. I was like, you see, there's another guy right, right here on, I think, it was, it was it way in Oakland Park by yeah. the traffic lights. He's mm. a traffic cop. Yeah. He's a traffic conductor. Yes. But he was doing it in a way. He ended up having clips and they were they were trending. People were shooting him, obviously. Because he was not just standing there saying, come, go, come, go. Yeah. And that's when you realize that somebody loves their job. That's true. It might, it might be a, being a waiter, but if you love your job and you know that I wasn't born just to end here as a waiter. That's it. My brother, you'll end up, you'll end up owning that restaurant. Here's a guy at the airport, uh, Johannesburg Airport. Yes. He, you know, there's a, Special people discovered yeah, yes, yes, shortcut. Yes, 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 yes. He's there. Yes, in the mornings, like very early, mm. uh, and he always has his phone ready mm. to shoot videos. Yes, because he knows that that line. Yeah, it has uh, well-known people, CEOs, and so forth. Yeah. So he shoots these videos where he asks people uh, to give advice, business advice, yes. or you know, yes. uh, how do what do they attribute to their success? Yes. he does it religiously, and it's on TikTok. And he's got lots of followers. There you go. Yeah. He just, he, he didn't say, I'm employed. I'm going to stand here. I'm going to be a statue. Mm. Whoever comes to me and asks me a question, I'll tell them. No. At this point. He realized that, Mara, 
I'll give, I'll give you a story about me when I was still in Katlevong. Mm. There was a guy called Dadengos. Dadengos, you know, when we were growing up, when you have a, the shop with the rigs and the fish and chips, the mm. Mm. The rigs, you, we perceived you as a rich man. Of course. Worst part of it, he bought a Cressida um, GLE. GLE. Ah, boss. Yeah, 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 computer speed. Nah, he's oh, rich. <laughs> you even remember computer oh, speed. Because I was fascinated when I was in that guy's car. I was like, what? He's rich. This guy is rich. And this is a Cressida. Yeah. But I realized, oh, what are this guy? He's always coming to my house. He's friends with my dad. Yeah. He's got this show. How do you go to I've got nothing to do. But I know what I need money in this house. Mm. I don't have anything. When I go to school, 10 cent ah, it get 10 cent. It makes a difference. This guy had a shop and he had a, um, a dry clean dry yeah. cleaners. Yeah. And then one day I said to him, Tadun goes. I can see that you have a dry cleaner and you run a shop. Mm -hmm. I have an idea. How about, nah, I go house to house to the guys that I know about, but the brand dude, but the suit, yes. I collect the dry clean. When you, you send your van to come pick up the dry clean here, at least it will be one space. Yes. And then you take it, all the way to and then you bring it back, and then I will distribute, you distribute. it. But then, on if the, the I remember a jacket was eight bucks. Mm. If a jacket is eight rands, I take two rands, you take six. <laughs> this man he looked at me and he said, In my life, I've never had such a brilliant idea. And you're a kid. I was young, I was in primary. What? I was in he said, <laughs> Boy, go for it. Yeah, and you did. You're not asking me to give you two rands. You are saying, Let me work to get this two rands. Yeah. I did. That's good advice. I man. did, my brother. I went out. And you know, had I continued with that, but I was young. I mm. didn't know his business. To me, I was just seeing money that I can buy and yes, stuff. Yes, extra cash. But that, that made, that, I survived through that. You say money to buy Tamati Mutlung. You were a kid to buy Tamati Mutlung. But I was forced to. Why, why does that, why does the memory go back to a sense of responsibility almost immediately? Because at, there was a time where we, we were moved from Katlehong and we went to Senegal, Free State. Mm -hmm. I'm the first born Kohai. I've got, I, at that time, it was my younger brother and my younger sister, Lebohan Lel Yeah. My brother, I don't know if anybody can relate with the pain of having your younger sister saying, Abu I'm hungry. And you know you have absolutely no plan. Jeez, what gap, age gap? Um, my younger sister, I think I'm... Uh, five years. Mm. Seven, eight years. Okay, so, you, so now, the age gap is big enough for her to say, "What are you going to do about my problem?" We are all in primary. I'm doing. I, I think I'm doing standard five. Not standard okay. five. Yes. Bonabaco yes. standard one. Yeah, well, it's two, a, a, it's a B. That's how I actually ended up being in the golf course carrying the bags of my Kelly Katie, because I realized okay, if I go there, Wednesdays and Saturdays. When this nigga to just go long, have got a break, you just fast, you can't walk, you can't carry the bag, or hold it eight rand, and then I come back home with it. That's when I realize, oh, but I need to do something about this because my parents are in wow. Joburg. Yes. I'm sitting here with my parents' brother, uh, who doesn't like me very much mm. uh, because I mean, but if I oh, I say when I was doing that you kind are of Zulu. thing, yes. you are Zulu, ba kibomu kebe when you are Zulu. Just but I don't know that I'm Zulu at that time. I'm young. Wow, man. Okay. Man, now we're getting interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you said you were you were born everywhere. Were you born I was born in Katleho, Katleho but you lived everywhere. I lived everywhere. It's clear because you're moving around with parents. Yes. Tell me, you it started out with your mom only? Give me give me that story. Which uh, the story that says it was before your dad, your yes. stepdad came along. No, no, no. Actually, but by, by, by the time my stepdad, by the time I started realizing things and started being smart to notice things, my stepdad was there. Okay, yeah, so he okay, came along yeah. while, while you were still very I think, young. I think my stepdad and my mom got married when I was about three years old. Okay. By the All time right. I get to five and started, my, he was there. Hey. He's my stepdad. He's my father. Did you know him as a stepdad? No. I knew him as my dad. That's why I was Tingan Muge. Did they know? Did the yes, people around knew. you knew? Everybody knew, except me. Except you? Except me. And when you say everybody, your extended I'm, family. I'm talking everybody. about my mom. I'm of talking course, about, yes. I'm talking about my mom's side of the, of the family. family. Yeah, yes. and my stepdad's side of the family. My father's side of the family knew nothing. And no one is saying a word to you? Nothing. Sure. How so long I, does that go for? Until I was 25. Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> until I was 25. And I, I until I had to get up and go. Because 
when you start when you're 19, 20, you're growing up, you start hearing these things or mara. When uh, you would meet people who knows your real dad, and they would say, hey, nah, I'm Steve. I'm thinking, you know, but my dad is Ephraim. Why is it Steve? Yes. And they would just leave you like that. And then, then you'd see his friends, yeah. my father's friends, saying, hey, when, uh, your dad is in Rustenberg. I'm thinking, what are you talking about? My dad is here. <laughs> yes. Guys, until somebody took me and took me to my father's, my biological father's grandmom. Mm hmm. The minute I walked into that house, she cried. Oh, no. She did not even ask who you are. She just said, no, I'm Danaga Steve. Just like that. Oh, boy. Were In you... fact, she yeah. actually thought I was Muzi's son. Muzi is the younger brother to my dad. Okay. Because I actually look identical like Muzi. <laughs> Jeez. And he wanted to say, no, I don't want to Steve. You want to Muzi. I'm Danaga Muzi, though. They couldn't deny ah, you, Ah, eh? they couldn't. But were you well received by uh, the Mokebes? Absolutely. Yeah. I would I wouldn't say my father's Sibling? my father's siblings yeah. accepted me. There was one lady, uh, may her soul rest in peace. She passed away. She hated my cast. She absolutely and unfortunately, when the fights were happening in Katlong, when we were moved to Senegal, mm. I had to live with her. And my dad and my mom, my stepdad and my mom, they were in they were in Katlong. So you had to live with this lady. I had to live with this lady all my primary life. I had to live with that lady. She hated How my guts. How bad was it to live with that? Horrible. Example? Horrible. What can like, you remember? Like for an example, she had a son that was two years younger than me. Mm -hmm. Every time my parents would send us clothes, the, I would see the clothes when my parents bring them. Mm -hmm. When they get when they get in the taxi, because they use taxis at that time. Yes. When they get in the taxi, going back to Joburg, the clothes were his sons. Ay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the only time I'd get the clothes and the son, because... I mean, these are clothes that are coming from Gauteng. Mm. He would do whatever he wants. Shut like, yeah, that's all he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the only time I'll get my clothes back is when they are like that. Oh, now. so you get you get the, the hand-me-down. Yet, yet the clothes were originally yours. They were brought for me. They were mine. <laughs> but by the time they are old and torn, now they are mine. Yes. When now they can afford to buy. And guess what? I had to bury that lady. Hey, man. There must be something when good. When I say bury, I mean I had to pay for a funeral. Yes, no, I get it. There must be something good she's done, though. No, I don't think so. Jeez. Not to a not to a 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 year old yeah. boy, no. Oh boy. All the memories I have of Mamukiti are unfortunately. Yeah. They're, they're bad memories. They're bad memories. I have nothing good to remember to remember. Man. The only time she will have she would be nice to us. Oh, by the way, the reason why my parents ended up going to Free State and picking us up and bringing back to Joburg mm -hmm. is because the neighbors couldn't stand it anymore. Wow. So when my parents came, they could see what... If these kids start dressing nice and they are clean and they are eating well, it means the parents are coming. Oh, they would spot... <laughs> they would... They know. I got to about who are No, we're coming down. We're coming to pick the kids up for winter holidays. Mm. And that time, that week, because we are kids... They would treat us amazingly well so that when the parents can't get there, we don't have to say anything. You, you, have, you, have, you have the remaining yeah. few days' memories. Yes. Until the neighbors call my dad and said, ah, ah, please take your kids. This is not working, eh? Take your kids away. Jeez. Did you relate well with your dad, though? My your, dad, your, even now. My stepdad. Yeah, your stepdad. Even now. Do you consider him your your dead dad? You know what? You know how, how I look at life? I always I told you that I look at a, a, at a glass of food. Yes, yes. When I found my biological dad, I, I actually thought or told myself, well, I must be one of the, the luckiest men alive. Mm -hmm. Because people are losing fathers, but my, men, I'm gaining more. You got two. I have two. Mm. And plus my, bio, my biological father's brothers, they're like my dads to me. So I've got like seven dads. You have so many. I've got so many. <laughs> And and fortunately for me, they not making me choose who's better. Yes. My Mukebe dad still allows me to be a Kumalo, of course, and he still calls me Mtung. Yeah, even though he raised me as as Mukebe. Wow, man! So I, I'm humbled. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that guy, that guy was that guy is amazing. That Mukebe is amazing. That yeah. man brought me up to be what I am today. That's incredible because it's it's very quick for us to say we felt out of place in that yeah. environment. And yeah. you say you were completely welcomed. Mm -mm. He was your dad through and through. He didn't make you feel like 
you didn't belong. Till today, I think that man loves me more than he loves his own kids. <laughs> Who are your brothers and sisters? Who are my brothers and sisters? Yes. I think he loves me more. They actually say it. They're like, I went under your right away. Like, what guys? <laughs> I'm not okay. Get it, guys, but what are you talking about? He's our dad, but he's your dad. I'm like, eh, eh. What are some of the key lessons that stand out for you about your relationship with with uh, 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 Mukebe? Mukebe, yeah. my dad. Yes, your dad. Uh, it's going to be tricky to say which yeah, one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You we'll love, you love to specify which one, <laughs> Kumalo or Mukebe. There we go. Um, I think that man taught me humility. I think that man taught me tolerance. Yeah. I think that man taught me unconditional love. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of people... I, I'm, I'm going to sit here and say, I love my mom dearly. Mm. But I promise you, I look forward to Father's Day more than Mother's Day. Wow. I know a lot of people will come here and say, my mom is everything. No, I think Mugabe is everything to me. My dad is everything to me. Yes. Even though I don't have the powers yet to show him that love. I mean, that man, my brother, struggled to put me to school, to... Mm. Anyway, when I drive a truck, I said it's a good He didn't. Mm. He didn't have a lot of salary, but he managed to raise five kids. One of them is not his. And he, this one child didn't even notice. Sorry, I don't belong. Not at not once did that man say or insinuate or made me feel like I'm not his child. Yeah. I never knew that he's not my dad. That's incredible. I never. Let's talk about unconditional love. It's something that stands out. Yes. What, what would, why would you say that? What did you see? I believe that man in everything he did. You know, I sat down today and I, and I listen to people talking about men being trash and mm -hmm. men are dogs. Mm -hmm. And I sit down and I look at my dad. I'm like, is he included there? <laughs> is he included? Because yeah. my brother, I don't think that that guy struggled. I don't want to lie to you. Mm. That guy denied himself a lot of nice things in life to make sure that I go to school. Wow. To make sure that I have, even though I didn't have the full school uniform, but he would buy me toughies. But I got December, got Christmas Day. And then... To make sure I got January. Yeah. That's the... Like I'm saying, my brother, that man, even when he speaks to me, even today, I can feel that I'm talking to... He's my dad, but he speaks to me like he's talking to a man. Mm, mm. And, and the love that he showed me he didn't have to. Now, in hindsight, you realize that he didn't he have didn't to. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. I like your dad. <laughs> I, like... <laughs> I like your dad. I like him too. <laughs> you know, because, and you said it, sometimes men like that, are, it's easy for us to vilify and say yeah. hey, he's not a real man, he's not strong enough and so forth. But yours, yeah. you know, he decided to shine. Yeah. Ever had a conversation with him about those, some of those qualities, particularly the one you're raising? Funny enough, I haven't. Do you, do you ask yourself? I do. I do ask myself. Um, I do sometimes put myself in his position and think, what would I do? Yeah. Would I still be what he was to me? I don't know. I don't mm. think. I think there are very little. It's a very small percentage of people who have that kind of a heart. Yeah. I don't think I have it. I'm not going to lie and yeah, say, yeah, I, I don't think you, I You may have made different decisions. Ah, of course. Of yes. course. Maybe I would have thought, Ramaralina, I deserve a in Palsanyan. I know it's in Wakao on Pazamisa. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. You know, I don't know. Jeez. It's a, it's a fair point to make, eh? To say you don't know. I, I don't you know. You would have to be in that position to understand how you would have decided. It's the same as people ask you, Hore, what would you do if you find your wife in bed with another man? I don't know. Yeah. I have absolutely What do no you idea. think you would do? Based on knowing yourself. <laughs> hey, D. <laughs> you started it. I, hey, did it. Hey, I didn't go there. Hey, D, I think I'd go crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm a freak. Maybe there's a freak inside of me. Maybe I might enjoy it and say, I don't know, no, continue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look, can I enjoy it? No, 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 guys. Hey, let me get my camera. Yeah, continue. Yeah. continue. I don't know. But <laughs> knowing but knowing me and the heart I have now, I mean, Nabra, you know, even in Senegal, yeah. that's when I knew, her, but now there's something different from me with my siblings because now when I get pissed off, I would get pissed off. Mm -hmm. And they would always say, hey, Muzulu, oh, wanna let you Muzulu. Sure. And I didn't understand. So that always to... came across once in a while. That auntie I'm talking about, she used oh, to say that. She would remind you she without would... saying it. But I didn't know what she meant. I'm surprised she never brought it up. <sighs> My brother, that woman. 
I'm surprised she never. So brought if that. I were to catch them in bed, I don't know, bro. <laughs> but all I know is I might. Uh, there might be some police. There might be oh, arrest. Okay, okay. I don't know. Who, who, you don't know like, who would be arrested. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but there might be something like that. <laughs> There might be careers that are finished. Oh, no. Whose career? We I, don't know. I don't know. It depends who I find in bed with my... It might be a CEO of some company. <laughs> Maybe his career might be finished. Maybe mine. I Maybe don't your know. career. I don't Maybe know. her career. Maybe her career. Oh, I don't boy. know. All right. It's it's lost. It's left like that, <laughs> loose as it is. Your mom's relationship with you. A note. Mm. This is a mother mm. who deliberately didn't tell you something that was probably important to you. You are done. That's how my relationship is with my mom. Okay, give me more. Let me, my, let's understand. My, my mom, I believe my mom loves me dearly, but I'm not going to lie. That thing always stays in my mind. At the back of my head, I always, sometimes, even when I, even when I, I was like, 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 I was she actually, yeah. she never gave your dad a fair chance. She actually gave another man a fair chance to, to bring you up, but yeah. she never gave. Because when I found my dad, you know I was angry at my dad, because you know how uh, single mothers, I'm not going to say all, mm -hmm. but most single mothers would sit there and say, Baba ka ka funi, Baba ko and, say this. and at that time, you find out this guy is sending money, but just because he's not sending enough, yeah, the child gets to know that you're, I think I'm going through the same thing now with my child. Yes. Now, my yes. mom, I always look at her as a person. I did tell her and her mother, mm. who is my grandmother, because they were responsible for my father not knowing that my mom was pregnant. Ooh. Until my dad left, because they apparently they wanted a, a, a big Exorbitant, uh, amount, amount of, of my, for ooh. Lobola. Because my dad, you for the mere fact that my dad actually wanted to pay Lobola, it means he had good intentions. Yeah. But because he could not afford what they wanted, he said, I okay, let me leave. Was your mom pregnant at the time? At that time, was it mom, known that? Uh, no. Ah. At that time, my mom was three weeks pregnant ah. when they tell me the story. Yeah. But they decided because he's not paying Lobola, we're not going to tell him that you are pregnant. And when I grew up and I and I knew this, I had to face them and say, "But wasn't that wasn't that selfish of you guys?" Yeah. I mean, my dad is in the taxi industry. They yeah. could have killed him long time ago. Were no, you going to show, show me my dad through pictures? Mm, or a I said I I had to find out from my grandmom. Sorry, I had yes. to find out from my grandmom and my mom that you had your father bringing you up. What right did you have mm. to decide that? My dad can't bring me up. I don't have to have a relationship with my dad. I want to connect this story to another part of this. Yeah. I want to give your mom some credit. Yeah. And I want you to do that. Yeah. Um, because I think sometimes life can be really tricky. True. And I've learned over the years that some decisions are based on survival yeah. than they are on a yeah. story like yours. True. It's always measured in hindsight years later when you're older. Yeah. And now you have the, the might to judge and say, my mama, true. Um, true. Do you get that? And at the time, decisions were made for whatever circumstances that, that they required. Very true. When you look at your mom before you found out, mm. what story, What? how do you reflect that relationship be, between when you were born, naturally, and when you found out? Mm. Uh, or again, before you found out, mm. what was that relationship like? That relationship was good. She was my mom. Fantastic mother. You didn't have these questions. No, 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 no. I didn't have these questions. But I remember when, I remember there was a day we were watching Mandela coming out of jail. Mm. And, and you know, we were talking in the house. I'm still young. I'm mm. in the mm. 90, 1990s. 90s, yeah. Yes. And a, a topic about fathers and their kids, it came up. Mm. And my mom actually asked me for it. Uh, I think we, it was on TV or something like that, a child who found his father and decided to leave the father that raised him to. So my mom found, I think now it makes sense why she asked me. Yeah. Because she calls me Dingy. Yeah. Dingy, what would you do when I, if if you were in this situation? And I told her, no, I, I wouldn't leave Mugabe. I mean, he's yeah. my dad. Yeah. Um, I would actually embrace the other father, but I would want to know why were Did you not there all this time? Yes. And it ended there. She never replied. Hmm. Because she knew that. She now knew the now you know why. She now was I know why she didn't reply. But my relationship with her then, I mean, I still say my parents now they were not rich. They're still not rich. Uh. My mom worked at Brackloss 
my dad worked at Max Steel, but they made sure. My mom, my mom has taste mm. when it comes to clothes. <laughs> my mom, the Crockett, mom, my mom bought me Crockett and Jones. Yeah, see, that's a how. My that used to be the advert. <laughs> <laughs> my mom brought me Crockett. So I would give her credit that as much as, and you are right. Even yeah. when she was pregnant, I think, I think she was young. I think it was not her choice not to tell my dad, but her mother's choice. Ah. Because the mother is the one who said, He's not going to know that she was too young to she make such young. big decisions. Exactly. So I don't think she was party yeah. to the decision that his father's not gonna know. But the elders. Yeah, but but she stayed with the lie. Of course she did. She well, she did. She yeah. did. Even when her mother passed away, she still didn't come to me and say, by the way, dude, this is the issue. She didn't until I found out myself. Do you hold it against her? Mm, not hold it against her, no. Yeah. But somewhere, somehow the resentment comes up. Ish. You know, I'm not going to lie. Somewhere, yeah. somehow, it does come up that, but I think maybe had this thing happened, maybe I would have had a better relationship. With, because me and my dad, now my biological dad, mm. we have a relationship as a son and father, but it's not the relationship that a father and a son. That's why even on Father's Day, I would call Mugabe first. <laughs> Understandably, though, you if you think about it, you your reference is stronger exactly. with Mugabe. Exactly. Have you engaged your mom uh, uh, about this subject ever at all? Nah, I tried. She ran away from it. I was like, ah, let me just let it go. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, ah, it's not worth it. Let me just let it go. Do you know, I have a feeling these stories, this story is common. Yeah. I have a feeling there's a lot of, a of lot parents. Of, a lot. Who are raising kids? Everybody knows mm. except for the child. Hey, bra. <laughs> hey, bra. Everybody <laughs> knows what the hell's going on here. Except the child. The child. Sure. Hopefully, this child is treated well, like you did. <sighs> Hopefully. Hopefully, this child is. There's a guy, or oh, woman for that matter, who's sacrificing to make sure that this child lives a good life. Have a, has a, a and good, un- good upbringing. And unfortunately, most of the people who are living that kind of life, they are mistreated. And they're still asking themselves, what did I do to this man? They don't understand. They don't understand. Or, or, or to or what, did people. I do to the, what did I do to these people? Yeah. And they, they have absolutely no idea. Jeez. Yet everybody knows except them. When you found out, mm. take, take me through the, the journey of, of now I'm searching. I'm deciding okay. to search. Right. After all these people insinuating yes. your dad is there, blah, 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 blah. Until this person said, you know what, come here. Mm-hmm. In fact, at that time, I was having problems in my life. I was, mm-hmm. Things in your career-wise, ja. it was mobile. I was doing, uh, um, um, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, umoja. Okay. Yes. Doing umoja. Yes. Then you get fired from umoja for no reason. I'm thinking, generations stopped calling. Yes. Yeah. What the hell is they going on? don't need on the barman here? anymore. No, no, the story is moving on. Now the bar is no longer there. We don't need you anymore. Yeah. And you're thinking, this is when I think I got it now. <laughs> and then this person just said, no. And then she, this person takes me to this grandmother I'm, t- I'm telling you about. Then she is. Um, um, and, and funny now, a week after they took me to the grandmother. The week after she was supposed to go to Rustenburg, but she doesn't have a car. Mm. That time I had done the advert. I, I just reposted the advert now. Mm, mm. Yeah, the Kellogg's. Oh, yeah, yeah. Way back. Yeah, way back. Early on. In yeah, the, yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. So I had hey. bought a golf nyana. So I'm like, no, I'll take you. She's like, no, you have to take me because we go there. Yeah. A week before we go there, <laughs> At Zwani mm-hmm. and Tabang Levis, they were my best friends. Yeah. So Tabang is playing for Orlando Pirates at that time. Mm-hmm. So a week before, Grand Rustenberg, we're supposed to go to Rustenberg Olympia Stadium to watch Tabang okay. play. Okay, yes, gotcha. We go there, they play, they finish. I'm driving Tabang's car. Mm-hmm. We go there, they play, finish. We wait for Tabang. He doesn't get in the bus. He says, no, coach, my Kaiser. Up. We go. We go to a filling station in Tabang. Mm. There's these big, uh, they were still new at that time, the Rodeo vans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Baga Mole, some nice hot man. Mm. I, t- I said to Tabang, hey, look at this nice couple. Hey, these people are nice, man. <laughs> look at the car they're driving. Tabang is like, yeah, dude, hey, they are nice. Yeah. They get inside the garage. We buy whatever we buy. Get in the car, we drive home. A week after, I'm supposed to go to Rustenburg with my grandmother. 
Now we're sitting there, we're in Rustenberg with my grandmother, we're sitting there waiting for my dad to come. Mm -hmm. My dad is a big boss in the taxi industry. Yes. So he likes taking his time. <laughs> he <laughs> likes the grand me. entrance. Yeah, they'll, they'll, wait, they'll for wait for me. So yeah. hey, people are there, Bajana, Mawapusum Komboti. That rodeo drives in. I'm thinking, no ways. I saw this guy last week. week. The same guy jumps out. <laughs> when he jumps out, my grandmother says that you're dead. I call Tabang. Tabang. <laughs> can you believe? Tabang, can you believe? He says what? I'm like, you remember the nice guy with the nice car? Yeah, in the garage? Yes. That's my dad. Tabang never believed it. What? That's Tabang crazy. never, he said, no, you are lying. <laughs> I took I took a picture and I said, here he is. Wow. Was he expecting to see you? He was told you that I'm coming. But oh. when he walked in, he just looked at me and said, he called me. He didn't call me my name with my name. He said, you are Esther's child. Yes. Because he knew my mom. Of course. He just looked at me and says, well, now you are Esther's child. Jeez, And man. my grandmother says, Steve, here's your son. That's it. That's how, I, that's how I got introduced to my dad. Crazy story, man. The Tabang moment, the moment with, with the my brother, petrol station. Uh, it, was just, it was just amazing. You could have said time <laughs> at that time. Oh, maybe it's all. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, spoken like a true TV guy. You're already <laughs> sensationalizing the moment. <laughs> it's already becoming Actually, a plot. Actually, it's a storyline. It's right? becoming a plot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about it. What if I was Nikilitsuzi and you know these kids, they're like yeah. the, your, your, your Toyotas are being stolen, blah, blah. Yeah. What if I was Nikilitsuzi and I see this, I'm like, we're hijacking this guy. There you and go. And I'm hijacking my dad. Bomb production. We gave you a story <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go. Carry on. <laughs> hey, my brother. Wow. And how was the how was the first meeting? Was it a, a, a pleasant one? It was. It was not pleasant to see my dad cry, because my dad apparently found out a week before Leanna that he had a child, in who's twenty five. So they had to tell tell him already. They had to prepare this, this thing. This child is coming. And you know, the amazing thing is. When they said Katle Ho, he knew who, 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 whose child this was. He knew who, who he was dating in Katle Ho. He knew because to his, um, going to, with his words, he actually really did love. My mom is beautiful, bro. Mm, he loved actually, your mom, oh, man. He loved my mom, that guy. He loved my mom. So the breakup destroyed him too, it Yeah, seems. Yeah, apparently. When, when he talks about you can see, even though he doesn't, he's a proud Zulu man. So he's not going to say, Ay, he'll always say, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. But better, I'm going to get better. Yeah. Well, then, this guy, he, leaves it he still thinks, he still thinks, oh, this person could have been my wife, you know? Just... So, so basically, this thing does not only destroy the life of a child. It destroys mm. a lot of lives. Yo. Because my siblings as well, from the Mukebe side, I grew up them knowing that this is our bigger brother, Mukebe. Yeah. This is our older brother, Mukebe. Now, when you have to sit there <clears throat> sure. and explain to them that, guys, actually, I'm Kuma, I don't know. My brother, they, <laughs> they disbelieve in their eyes, knowing that this guy actually went to a golf course to get eight bucks to feed us. All of a sudden, he's not one of us. Wow. That's so amazing. so it goes beyond just parents and it goes beyond yes. wow man breaking it to them must have been difficult as well uh, extremely difficult you don't even know where to start and at that time you, it, my bra, i don't have balls like now i'm mm. a father now mm. I'm I'm like, do I at that time so i don't know how to tell my younger brother dude actually we are half jesus because you also dealing with it yourself <laughs> Now, <laughs> while I'm still dealing with it, they have to deal with it. You have to announce. I have to announce. While they're dealing, dealing with it, my dad has to come into the picture now. Now he has to deal with it. His wife has to know that Steve has a child outside that we didn't know about. How did Mukebe take it that now you know? I think Mukebe had made peace with it a long time ago. Yeah. I think Mukebe at some point he knew that this is a boy. He's going to grow up. He's going to mm. have to take his rightful surname. And his kids are going to have to take his rightful surname because they can't call Mukebe. Otherwise, a generation after me would be That's lost. That's just lost. It's yeah. just lost. So I think Mukebe, even though he didn't say much about it, but actually he, he encouraged me when I was changing my li my driver's license, mm. my ID. Mm. He would ask me, how did it go? Did they give you an ID? Wow. So you could see that it, this is a man who had prepared himself a long time ago. That this will happen. That at some point, this thing is going to happen. 
he took it well. He did. Yeah. And the siblings? Did they naturally ah. they would have to accept it? My you? my younger sister Lebohang, third born. My the, the other ones because when I told them I've got uh, four siblings, mm -hmm. young us, two younger brothers, two younger sisters from yeah. my mother's side. Uh -huh. From my dad's side, I've got many. Oh yes, uh, the, the, the Kumar. Yeah, the Kumar yeah. that I've got many. Yeah. So these four, the the last two, they were still young. Okay. So they they could not understand really that what was yeah. going on. But the other two, the second born and the third born, especially the third born Lebuhan, she was not. She didn't take it well. Oh no. Nah, she didn't take it well. She. What was her reaction towards it? That it's a lie? Anger. Okay. Uh, frustration. Thinking that she has lost her brother. He's gone. He's Jeez. never going to come back. Yeah, yes. uh, He's now a Kumalo. He's no longer a Mugabe. He's not one of us Yeah, anymore. he's gone. The man that I grew up thinking, this is my... He, he would even call me my, his, uh, his second dad. Yeah. But now he's thinking, my second... This man is gone. I'm losing my second dad. Hey, man. All because of one person who made a decision. One. Yeah. Who decided that, no, that man is not going to know. Jeez, man. Well, I'm glad it worked out, right? I'm glad it did. So when we look back, we, we look back <coughs> and say, I guess it was what it was. But you still say you carry some resentment. But, yeah. but you carry on. I do carry on. Yeah. I mean, my brother, you're not going to sit there and throw a pity party. How is it going to help you? Next. Nah, it's yeah. not going to help you. It's going to filter down. You'll end up taking the frustration on David who knows nothing about what happened. Pity parties are nice, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever attended one, <laughs> no. you'll realize pity parties are nice. We see a color, shock. <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 I don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to be in that situation. I don't know when I go blind. I went to him. I was next one. I was next one. That's a pity party, man. You've never attended one. Hey, my brother. Hey, my brother. I must admit, I avoid people when pity parties. Hey, my brother. Hey, pity parties are not nice. You'll actually leave there and think, oh, my life is finished. Jeez, no, man. <laughs> no, my life is finished. I must just end it. Yeah. <laughs> Schooling, where did you... you Katle Hong, I imagine. Katle Hong. Yes. Um, half of my primary was in Katle Hong. Then I had to leave and go to Senegal. Mm. Uh, Matwabing Primary School. Came back to Katle Hong. Jablile Secondary High. Yeah. Finished Jablile Secondary High. Went to Vids. Unfortunately, I couldn't and which i'm still gonna finish it by the way tell us what did my, you register my, my law degree i was doing i was I, I wanted to do law but i i couldn't finish it why couldn't you finish it? because i had to take care of the young ones i have to take uh, care of my brother i had to grow up at a young age i can imagine i had to grow up at a young age because i had no choice lebohang had to go to school Thonolo had to go to school my yeah. parents were not doing that well i had to come and help how were you able to do it then during the the vets days um during the vets days that right lean. Oh. That right lean actually made me money. Yes. So I could afford to give my younger brother and my... You know, my first television debut was Jam Ali. Were you one of the three contestants? Yeah, about top right, top left. Yeah. I was there. <laughs> middle and I center. Actually, middle center. I actually <laughs> won that day. How, actually, you're not the first person to say that. Who told, who told us the story of their money that they got? Damn it, we'll remember at some point. Somebody sat on that chair and I told won. me. I won. Oh, no. It's um, uh, uh, Ntando. Ntando said Ntando. You, you also won. Ah, some Ntando, money, but, some Ntando money. they came after me. <laughs> ah, I won. I won 2,500. My brother, that was a lot of money. What song did you sing? A song for Mama by Boys to Men. And I imagine you did well. I did. <laughs> I did. Pella, they, they came to my stage now. They came to my to the thing, Pella, you must remember that time in uh, we mime and give him Mr. Style yeah. contest. So we do, we did this thing every week. All these, so you were used to an audience. My brother, by the time I came to um, Jam Ali, I had been through Shell Road to Fame so many times what? and I failed. Rebecca didn't pick me. <laughs> Rebecca did not pick me. Because she was one of the Shell. judges yes. by then. Yes. yes. Oh, I boy. came there with my group. It was four boys. We called ourselves Paws. You know, play, yeah, yeah, stop, yeah. Pause. pause. Yes. Maybe you, you, you jinxed yourselves with that name. <laughs> For real. Pause them right pause there. Them. <laughs> they mustn't go any further. So by the time <laughs> I came to Jem Ali, I was used to the stage. Jeez, so man. by the time I sang Song for Mama, I had practices with my group many times. And 2,000. 2,500. Jesus. And, uh, and uh, sound system. 
<laughs> because they always. But I never got that suspension. They lied to me. Oh no 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 no. Let me let me defend them. Yeah. Uh, the gem the, blaster. The, the real prize, the gem blaster. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you remember the name? It's the gem blaster. The real prize was money, but to color it. Oh, TV. they said the jam plan. They will, you'll get that and that and that. But the real price that you walk away with. But my brother didn't tell me. Till today, I'm still waiting for my jam plan. You wanted your jam plan. Yeah, I'm thinking I've got 2005. I've got jam plan. I am not. Skis. <laughs> but I got a box of chocolate. Yeah, man. You remember they had jam early chocolate? Yeah, yeah, I remember. And they were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. That's a. I, I don't know. Some of us never got a chance to go to gym early. Maybe the talent was in there. Have you thought about it? No. <laughs> we never tried. I must admit, we always thought it was far, far, far away. And that's how I knew SABC. And completely inaccessible. That's how I knew SABC. That's how I met Sophie Daba. That's how the barman started. Wait a minute. Really? That's how that I... That gym early day. That gym early. The gym early days, that's when I met Sophie Daba. So I, you would go to gym early often? I would go and audition and they wouldn't pick me. Went and auditioned, they didn't pick me. Oscar, Oscar, funny enough, today I work with Oscar Mlangit. Yes. And he was the one picking for Jamie Ali. Jeff. And he was not picking. I'm like, why? what's wrong with this guy? Why <laughs> Why am I not singing the right song? And oh, eventually, until one, eventually I auditioned song for Mama. They were like, dude, you are guy. shooting next week. I was like, me? On TV? <laughs> I was wearing a Bafana Bafana shirt 1998 when they went to the World Cup the first time. Yes. I was wearing that shirt. We should find that footage. It's there. It's easy to find. I <laughs> even have it on my on my Instagram. Oh, you have that? I have it. On the my... performance. Yes, the performance. <laughs> wow, man. It must have been a... Surely it means your dreams of being on TV, they started a while ago. And I didn't even know how to get on TV until I started attending these auditions. And I started, to, oh, so this is where they do TV. And then you see Dixie Ngula Kame. You see yeah, all yeah. the... Uh, continuity presenters. Yes. You're like, wow. Or Robert Marawa. It's that Robert era. Marawa. You're like, that wow. Era. Yes. These guys. And I so wanted to be a continuity presenter, my brother. I I think every guy who grew up at that time wanted to be a continuity. No, Clem true. Awisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's that era, man. My guy. It's that era. We all remember that era very well. <laughs> that's when I met. That's when I met Sophie Ndab. I was like, ah, queen, ah, me, this is what I want to do. And she actually liked me. She's like, yeah, you've got balls. You are, Come here. Uh, I started, uh, I, well, she even took me to her house. When she started a catering company. What? I was there. <laughs> when she started she a catering company. She liked you that company. much. She, she did. Said, Come hang out. Let's she hang even out. Brought, uh, uh, brought me to her house. Uh, her birthday. I saw her on the 30th birthday or something. Mm. I was the video guy. I was the camera guy there. <laughs> But Temba liked me very much. Temba and Dal. They were still married at yes, that time. Yes, yes. Till today, I still have a relationship with Pratemba. Wow. And it, and, and it all started there. It all then, started Then how there. do you then end up on, on the screen? Obviously, she has to speak Sophie to Sophie was, was uh, responsible for hiring extras for Generations. Yes. Ah. She had an, uh, she has an, ex, course, she had an extras course, agency. Of course, yes. Then that's how she I remember me. that little bit. And then um, Jet Novuka. Jet Novuka was the one doing the barman job. Mm. I don't know whether he was sick or he couldn't come to work or something. And then they started saying, no, Jet is not here. They gave me that... Jacket in the lady, red and gay. Yeah. They said, no, you're going to, you, you you'll be the, bar, the barman. So, so, so it was sheer luck. It, it was sheer luck. <laughs> it was sheer, pure, pure, pure luck. Lo papanyan, because umsuge it's Of course. Good. And now, I mean, Jed Yana is used to this job. It was his job. Mm. So Yana is, he's work. So now it's, it's exciting to me. It's new to me. Just... I want to be all over. <laughs> I'm looking at the cameras. I see if the light is red, that means the camera, the shot is this yeah, side. Yeah. I'm behind the actors. I'm, I'm excited. You move around like and they, they must see like, me. They were like, mm, we're keeping this barman. <laughs> and, they kept, and they kept me. I can imagine in the edit, like, oh, he's still there. He, this guy. Hey, man. And you tell this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> every shot. They could not edit me out because I was there. <laughs> If the shot is on sign, I'll be there. And I would time that his, con his uh, dialogue is going to be finished. I will go around the bar. I'll be behind you when you speak that side. Imagine that. You couldn't edit me out. <laughs> you're I in refuse. Every, you're in every scene. I refuse to be edited out. Wow. I, I, like, I like that about you. Because mm -hmm. clearly it comes from far. It comes from when you were still young. There we go. But the desire to be on TV, to be... To be known or famous or or the arts, because I don't know what 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 propelled your energy. And I was I mean, now I, I I just wanted to do my law degree and finish, and then I started hanging out with these people. Because I mean, now when you're on Generations, you're doing a small character, but in a huge production. Generations was 
the film school of South Africa. That's true. There was nothing bigger than generations at that time. Yeah. I, I not... still maintain the story is still the same. Yes. We just live in a different yes. time. Yeah. The story still exactly My brother, the same. There, was, <laughs> there was nothing bigger than generations. Yeah. So I've started to sit. Being famous was never an objective. Yeah. Being famous was just, it, it's something that just came after you like, oh, this is nice. Mm. People can recognize me. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Oh, I like this. <laughs> but then again, you had Abo, Glenn Majosi, you had Silo Makekangube, you had Koni Masilo, you had ah. all these people, the jam of the film industry at that time. Mm. They they surround you. There's no way you can learn. Mm, that's true. Not unless when I was little, when I, you, they just bounce off these mm, things. Mm. But if you are hungry and you know where you come from, my brother, I used to walk from SABC to Bri. Just. Being the barman, people, the taxis were never back at Moloko, DT, go in the ink, go go vids. I see that. They would see me, those students, like, isn't this that the barman? Ah, he's walking. Guess not gel the dicks. But I couldn't care. Yeah. I you walk. still had a gig. I would walk, go for SABC to Bree, take a taxi to Katlong from Nada Spray to my Vimbella section. I would walk. They say, ah, the barman. The barman. I went, ah, didn't care. You did, did you have a line or two? During I did. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, boss. <laughs> Those were your I lines. ended up having that boy. My first line was actually called the ambulance. That was your first my, that was my line, first line outside the yes, sir, yes, boss. That, before the yes, yes, sir, yes, boss oh, was, was the a... first line when uh, Job Kobati, I forgot his character name, oh. he fainted in the bar and the first thing I said was call the ambulance and I fluffed it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to find out if you, you got it wrong a few times. Bruh, I ah. fluffed it. They're like, ah. Chief. And now the big actors are like, ah, guys, they're born. I get little seniors. I'm going to happy these guys. They want no, to go. So you have one job. One line. <laughs> one. <laughs> Call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Do you want to say it now and get it over with? Let's say it. Uh, uh, action. Guys, please call the ambulance. <laughs> Look at it, you've colored it now. <laughs> oh, it's still Archie's car. <laughs> call the ambulance. Call the ambulance. Wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> and now, here's a career that's growing. You were there for a while. I was. And the stories that say... Yeah. And it could be true or it could be wrong. Mm. You correct us. Mm. But you, you got tired mm. of this character that has little lines mm -hmm. or few lines. Mm -hmm. It's the same. There are no growth prospects. Did you get to that point? No. That's not true. Because the story says you 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 were tired and you gave them an ultimatum. <laughs> Let's just, that's no. That's but, not... I, but if I don't get a better position, I leave. Bruh. <laughs> I'm an extra. Which extra who needs this money yeah. would go and tell a big production like Generations that you guys, you give me this or I walk. <laughs> You're an extra. You are an extra. And you know it. And I know it. H. Do you think I'll go to the producers and tell them that? No. That's not, not true. I got fired. Did the character win money? The character won lottery. And that's how I got, that's how I was written off. Because I won the lottery. In fact, Masibube, who was played by Mam Lilian Dube, mm. uh, asked me, the barman, yes. to go play lottery for her. Yeah. But I didn't play it. I played lottery, but I didn't give her the ticket. Oh, you won the money. I won the money. It never gave her the money. I never gave her the money. And I started being rich and I started misbehaving around the bar. Uh, I so, couldn't care because I had the money. So they played that, they shot the character, you being rich. Yes. Just a little yes, bit. Yes, they even shot me in Hawaii in a beach. <laughs> uh, they made their own beach in of the course, studio. So yeah, much work with it, with for, it. <laughs> for that one extra <laughs> to go. And they gave me nice, beautiful babes there that were massaging me. And I was, the barman was living the life. And that was them. Right and I, re I remember they said, I moved to Monte Carlo. You're still there. I'm still in Monte Carlo. <laughs> the nice thing about it is I didn't die. You didn't. So if things were to go back or go bad, who knows? I like can go back to them bad. and say, guys, remember, I'm still in Monte Carlo. Yes. Can't I come back now? Yes. Ah, I might have taken the lottery. I come back to buy the companies. You're the man. I'm the man. There's another plot. There you go. <laughs> There's another there plot. you go. Wow. Ramfundi, I hope you're listening. And you were written off. I was written off. 
how did that go down? Because I imagine you st- one, you still needed the job. It was painful. Because I said earlier you were there for a while, but I correct yeah. myself. Yeah. It wasn't terribly long. No, it was, it was three years. It was three years. It was three years. It was three years. And that's not long from by na- generation standards. People no, stay there for three years. <laughs> it was from 99 until 2002. And 2002, that's when I started meeting my grandmother. I went to my dad, met ah. my dad, blah, 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 blah. And they started saying, Kuma. Le- I see. I said the right they thing. They went and they did the same, the right thing. The nice thing is the Kumalos came to my mom, met my mother's side. They did all that they needed ba, ba, to ba do. Ba ba and then guess what? After all of that, Mubango called. Well, I, they didn't call. I went to the audition. Yes, Magic yes. Chachuayo and Uwe Bachman. Yeah. They, they are the ones who auditioned me. I remember I was wearing my nice, beautiful black shirt and a yellow mm. gold jacket. Hey, you they stood t- out. They, man. T- they took me. But, uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but no, this boy. Uh, but generations helped because they knew Hora. This was the barman. Yeah. So he's familiar with camera. He's... He's usable. No. Let's take him. Was it already for the, the big character that you, you played? James Mutama. No, is. James Mutama was supposed... You know, James Mutama was supposed to, to come then do two things. Okay. He was supposed to come take Dupsi, uh-huh. introduce Dupsi to MMC. No, no, it was it was Mukwebo Milling. At that okay, time. okay. Introduce her there and then leave. That's all he So that's what you were auditioned for. That's what I auditioned for. The for the in and out. Which had two lines. <laughs> you get we get few lines. Hey, my, my brother. Hey, <laughs> when I was you get few lines. Got there, did the job, driving a slasha and Audi slasha. Mm. Got to Dubsi's shop. Mwago, yeah. Ramabula was the director. He mm. was very happy. He says, Yeah. This and guy. then he called Duma. And Duma, and another thing that helped me is the first day of shooting, mm. newspapers were calling because they knew what the barman got a bigger role oh. somewhere. So the newspaper started oh. calling to him, hey, how do you feel about it? He doesn't know who this thing is. He says, I'll call you back. He goes to his office. Hey, who is this thing? You guys? <laughs> Newspapers are calling me. They're like, ah, you don't you know the barman? The bar he said, ah, you know what? This guy, maybe we must give him a bigger role. Because he's bringing all this attention. This, this, this in, these inquiries. Ah, uh, the first year I had two calls, every, two calls a month, which was paying me 2,200. <laughs> the following year. Still tricky, yeah? Ah, still tricky. The following year, it gets bigger, it gets more bigger, calls, more, more calls. calls. Nee, 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 nee. A year's contract. I was like, yeah. Look at that. This thing is working. <laughs> Look at that. This thing, since 2003 till today. The lawyer is gone now Eesh, in your life. My brother, the lawyer is gone. Do you still think about it? Yeah. I think I still want to finish it. Just for me. I think you should. I, I think I should. Quietly. I want to. I have a friend who's doing that. I want to. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. There's a job situation that changed slightly. Yeah. yeah. Normally, it would make people feel bad and like they've lost out. Yeah. And he said, ah, this is God's way of giving me an opportunity to finish that unfinished deal. I agree. And he's gone back to school. I agree. And he says it's the most fascinating thing. Because man. man. And I go with these little kids. I can see why we failed when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> they are useless in class. <laughs> they don't prepare. They don't study. Because he's literally with youngsters. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are their assignments are always late. And yeah, that's on the other side now. And I'm always ahead. Exactly. I, 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 and he looks like that bright child in class. And yeah. he's not. He's just more responsible. <laughs> he's more responsible. That's it. Yeah. So this is your chance. I, this is, I think so. Do you have a sense of a deadline? Even if it's just a sense, you, you know, you know. To, to be honest with you, and I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg or I'm not uh, yeah. buying your face. I actually told myself there are things that I'm chasing now, which I, I think they are very close. Mm. As soon as I get those, because I mean, we are fathers now. Yeah. We, we need to be. There are things that you can't think for yourself anymore. Of course, of course. like Mugabe never thought of, thought of for himself. Yeah. Thought, so now, as as long as soon as I can just break through from the things that I yeah. wanted to do. I have enough time to do the law. I can start it from end of July. I can I can start it any time. How close are those? They are things? very close. A month or two. Jeez, man. They are very close. So we should be registering soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would yeah. you go back to vets? I would. Because you're completing the story. I would. Yeah, we're I'm looking... completing the journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. No, we're looking forward to seeing you there. I would. <laughs> we... I would. Because I, I think it, there's something satisfying about those experiences. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I stayed a long, long time, a gap yeah. between my junior degree 
and the masters. Yeah. Huge, like almost 20 years. Yeah. When I went back, I remember the first three months thinking, what the hell am, <laughs> what I, am I doing, am I doing here? here? <laughs> I don't have to do this. No. But no, you, I'm David. Yeah, you know, no. I mean, I'm King David. Yeah, yeah I'm King David, for goodness sake. <laughs> but I did. Yeah. And I look back and I, I'm, I'm glad I did. I was there last time. I went to see a friend of mine. Uh, she's a lecturer. And mm. I, I looked at these quotes. I'm like... I actually want to come back, yeah. Yeah. But they're fascinating. Do you know what I mean? That's you true. look around, you, you like, yeah. <laughs> I want to come back. You want to do this? I do. I Jeez. do. Your time at Mobango was it as great as you thought it would be in the end? When you my, look back and say, my time at Mobango, my brother has been amazing. Yeah. I cannot think of a time where I would say, do I have to get up and go to this place? No. You loved it. Uh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I'm yes, still of there. Course, you're still there. Now. Yeah. yeah. With all your other stuff. You My still brother, we stayed. had ups and downs. We had times where we were not getting paid because SABC didn't have money. We had, I yeah, remember that We time. had times where our, one of our characters was short. Lean, you was playing Doopsy. She passed away. Yes. We had ups and downs. But Mobango, my brother, I am not buying anybody's face. That's a, a family. Yeah. From the executive producer down to the runner. And you've been on, on a lot of productions, yeah. uh, you know, before, well, before, yes, yeah. that's the barman. Yeah. And after, yeah. you know, you've done so many other things. Yeah. Do you, do you, does it stand out to you that indeed there's something special there? You know, the, funny enough for me, the productions that I've done, I've enjoyed them. Yeah. And, and, and I think I'm one of the lucky few lucky artists that have always done Prime only. Mm, eh? I've been on Prime TV only. <laughs> That's true. Nothing else. Yeah. Speak Out, Mama Zala, yeah. Mobango, mm. Generations, you name them. These are big shows. It's been Prime. Yeah. I've never done a show where it's playing at three, uh, half past 11 <laughs> at night. Or they only play the repeat. Or they only play the repeat <laughs> or they play at 12 o'clock at the day. No, no. When no. I'm on the radio, it's play there and it's like, <laughs> you're, like <laughs> you're not even listening. We shame you. Ah, yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. So, so I, I, Mobango would be top of the list. Yeah. But then again, my brother, I did speak out. Speak out was challenging to me because it brought things that I didn't know that I was capable of. Within, because, inside of yes, you? Yes, because yeah. I had to sit there and actually this person called me, King David called me and said, On road bile, oh, on I need yes. And I have to come there now and fight for King David yes. and say, you are going to pay for that. Yeah, the, the inspiration is, is yeah, speak out. The inspiration is that's there. Where, that's where it came from. Yeah. So it was challenging. It, it was scary. Because now they've got bodyguards. I never had bodyguards then. You would go on your own. It was me and the camera guys. That's it. You came into that show on season three. On season three. It was already an established show. It, it was an established show. Yes. Dostono started the show. Yeah. Vuyelo and, 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 um, and Duncan mm -hmm. did the other. But the other seasons. But then I came in. Yeah. And you, you did many seasons. I did. I did. I think I did about five seasons. Imagine that. I did five seasons of Speak Out. You must have enjoyed it. I did. It was, you know how men are, adrenaline. It's mm. scary, but I want more. As a friend of mine who was in the production mm. team mm. with you, mm. he works right here with you. Yes, yes. He shoots this, these, yes. he edits and shoots these podcasts. I recognized him when I worked yes. here. Yes. Yeah. He says, uh, ah, like I was enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> He was always excited to go. Let's go. When you're preparing, like, hey, man. <laughs> so, so, so for you, it, it, as you put it, it brought out something else. It yeah. brought out the guy who actually cared to solve problems. Of course. And that's when I started realizing, what, no, that's when people started looking at me as their champion. This guy can actually, can actually solve my problems. Yeah. To a point where I would fight to a point where SABC2 would call me and say, no, man. Tone it down. Tone it down. But I'm thinking, what, guys, you guys are not there. When yeah. I'm there fighting for this grandmother's fridge and the guys at Bradlow's, they refuse it. You're not there. That's true. And if I live there without this fridge, I fail this grandmother. Yeah. So you can't tell me to tone it down because you hired <laughs> me to get this fridge. So it, it was as real as we saw it. It was brutal, my brother. Because <laughs> sometimes we think this stuff is staged. I never not speak out. Nah. Never, not speak out, my brother. There was a time we went to, uh, was it Rustenberg or Kruenstad, mm. where we drove it from the gate to this uh, white man's house, lost like 150 meters. Yeah. They closed the gate. 
and, and, they now said, you're in the yard. and they said, you guys are not leaving here. You came with your cameras. We take the camera. I fought. <laughs> Why I fought? Where I got the strength? Where I got this? I, I have no idea. But I fought. Wow. By the time we left there, the guy who was driving the kumbi, the camera guy, the sound guy, even our complaint was like, ah, hey, dude, we're going to die one day. <laughs> <laughs> because of you, you fight we, a little too much. We're going to die that. But speak out, speak out had nice stories where you confront people, and it had bad stories where they run away. And mm, but mm. there's a story we did in um, was it Palabora, something yeah. like that, of a white guy who was doing garage doors. Mm. That guy, when we when we walked in, I mean, he's seeing this young boy, skinny, mm. he's coming to tell me. I right. owe somebody. I someone. I'll tell him what. I'll tell him what to get off. Yeah. I was like, it's fine. You can have your party, but I go to Yeah. He I said, get... no, I'm closing. I'm like, close. You'll find us here in the morning. We're not leaving. Just as... that guy fought until his wife pulled her si pulled him aside yeah. and said, give these guys what they want. Cool. These guys are going to get you arrested. Cause I, I was very fearful first in saying, <laughs> I'll get you arrested. Yeah. I'll call Scorpions now. That time I didn't even know any number <laughs> as Scorpions. Of course, that guy ended up giving this man. Because the guy had paid for a garage door, but he never got it. But mm. because this guy can realize, or, I'm going to be exposed. He said, you paid for a garage door at 20000 I'll give you a garage door at 40000 Jeez. Just to say so. Yeah, yeah. You know what happened after that? After the, the show was on air, that guy, the white guy, was calling me and saying, hey, bra, bring the speaker out of yours. The cause I'm getting here because the door is nice. Bring it back. I'm like, whoa. Oh, business. Get, I can't bring it back. It didn't rob anybody. All right, bring it Get back. Rob somebody else. Get rob somebody else will come back. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you embraced the the fighter yeah. that's fighting for people's rights. I did. Without being aware. Yes, that you were. Because it became such a big show with, with branding everywhere, I taxis, know. billboards, I you know. name it. I know. It became that show. I know. Were you doing it at the same time with Mubang? Yeah, I was. Yes, yes, yes. I was because now SABC had to go, SABC 2, they had to go and speak to the Mubango producers and say, guys, listen, we need this guy. So please, let's be flexible yes, with the time. Yes. So Mubango would give the, that's why I love Mubango because the people there, they have an understanding that, okay, sharp. It's SABC 2. Yeah. It's both. It's SABC, family. Yeah, it's family. Yeah. So let's give them time to go yeah. shoot. So they would shoot, I would shoot Mubango and then they would give, speak out days. How did you get the speak out the call up? Because it could have gone to anybody. They called me. They had auditions and they asked me to come and audition. I okay. came there, but I was thinking speak out. At that time, I didn't even know what speak out is. Because you remember, <laughs> it, like you said, I came on season three. Yes. But I didn't know what oh, speak yes, out. It I was like, what speak out? What is this thing? And then I, I had to sit down and watch it. I'm like, oh. Hey, but I was scared. I was thinking, <laughs> ah, me. I, but what gave me spin? Mm. I saw Vuyev. Yes. Yes. Sorry if I get her name wrong. I saw her confronting these people. What I can do. But you know, when she confronts these people, she would speak Africans. I was like, ah, me I Africa, don't know Africans. Africans are so him. Ah, I mean, uh, but then I went, audition, they gave me a call back. I went and again, they said, the job is yours. Let's that see was, what you can do. Yes. Those are good days eh, when you have multiple productions at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Those are days that come yeah. with two things with a bit of cash and, yeah. and a lot of fame. Of course. <laughs> of course, and 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 needless to say, speak out just when you did until the days of the pods and all of those things. Uh, what is that? <laughs> uh, you don't know the episode of the pods. Where Please are the pods? Please remind us. Please remind us. I went. To, oh yeah, of course. Where are the, the clips? <laughs> there are clips of where are the pods. Where are the pods? Exactly. <laughs> until those days, speak out was just it was just big. Wow, man. Do you do you look at those days as some of your your best TV moments? I think so. I do. I do. Yeah. I do. And and you know, when you do something because you love doing it, you're not doing it because you want to get something. Of course, I want to get paid. Of course. Yeah. You're working. But yeah, but everything else that happens around it, you're like, I'm just doing my job. But I I believe, first of all, I love traveling and Speak Out made me travel. I would go Everywhere. all over South Africa. Yeah. I even found places like Sukmekar. I didn't know there's a place like called Sukmekar <laughs> in is, South Africa. Yeah. yeah, so I love traveling. <laughs> so Speak Out gave me that yes. and it gave me a break from acting. It yeah, because you're not yeah, acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you're, not acting. You're yeah. playing this character of someone who's trying to solve a problem. Exactly. Wow, man. Exactly. We miss you on Speak Out. We miss you doing a show like that. Th thank you, thank you. But I because there's a lot of them now. <laughs> yeah, I think I've done my fair share. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to go back? No, 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 
no, King David. I, Why I, not? No, King David, I'm, I'm tired. You know, Come King on. David, I want to, Lynn and I want to do a nice show like, uh, but again, yeah, tropic. I always have to go island. Do you want to go there? Yeah, let me want to have fun. Let me show off my chest and have <laughs> sun in my face. And, and say to, tell, tell us about the ladies. It's fine. That's Lin where you want to go. You want to have a lot of ladies around <laughs> no. you. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want Linda for once. I want to have a show where I can have fun. Yeah. Where I don't have to go home stressed and fighting and thinking, how am I going to solve this problem? Yeah. No. Jeez. Linda, I want to have a show where. I, I'll tell you the show I want to have. Tell me. I want to have a show that follows Black Coffee around. Yeah, it's a reality show. I want to have a reality show at Black <laughs> Coffee where I follow him doing his gigs. Everywhere in the world. Can I please have that show? There's an idea. You can approach him. I'm sure he'll say it's fine. If I don't follow Black Coffee, let me follow uh, uh, Trevor. <laughs> just wanna, you want to do speak out out of the country. That's your problem. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Can I just get paid for having fun? <laughs> I mean, these guys are just getting paid for having fun. Yeah, that's true. That I, is true. I'm telling There's you. There's a lot of work, but that's that's true. I, bro, I don't mind the work. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've shown you already I can do speak out. I can do the difficult work. That's true. How difficult can it be to follow Black Coffee around? Yeah. Him going here, playing here, going there, play. How, how difficult can that be? You are not a trained actor in a classical sense. I wasn't when I started. Ah, tell us if you got to. to then train. I got I got training afterwards. Yeah, I got training afterwards because How I realized. How did that come about? I realized I had to go to I had to you know when you start making money and mm. they start telling you there's a coach there's this there's this and I started having now I, I could afford to get coaches yeah. I could afford to get. Uh, speech therapist. I could afford to go to voice banks. Wow. And, and that's what I did. Jeez. And you look back at that time uh, and say, good decision. Money well spent. Yeah. You know, it's like now when you buy solar panels and you put your solar panels in, on top of your house, <laughs> you can never regret it. No, 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 of course. And, that's why. Until that, it rains for a week. And but that's a story <laughs> for another day. <laughs> a story for but, another day. But you, do, do you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I look at that as this is money that I was not doing it. You know, sometimes we work so hard, uh, King David, and everything that we do, and I, I think you can relate with this, mm. everything that we do when we wake up in the morning and when we do it for other people. That's See that your kids, yeah, your son, yeah. your wife. Family. Or, yeah, yeah. Extended family. What do we do for ourselves? Yeah. That money that I spend for voice training, for voice bank, for that was for me. For yeah. once. That's true. For once. Yeah. That was for me. Your finances <clears throat> changed. Mm. And you obviously saw this gradual Yes. Improvement. Yes. Tell us, tell us in in relation to either a house or a car or the way you looked. Because you're a guy who doesn't dress down at all. Uh, <laughs> I know this about you. Because your story has been taken. So we'll get hey, <laughs> hey, this guy. I know hey, this guy. <laughs> hey, you know too much. I know, I know, I know. I know. So, so, so you don't dress. What, what changed? What was the obvious change when money was getting better and better and better? Um... I think I did say that my mom, mm, a, a, she's she's got style. Yeah, of course. But the money at at the the style that you could afford was the money that it was it was what limited she limited to, to the her money affordability. She, exactly. Of course. So I grew up with that style. Like I'm telling you, uh, the Crockett and Jones, none of the Crockett and Yeah, you know, <laughs> even though you could see this person has a plan, Mara, uh, Anna. So that and and I think and I think I. I took a decision that I would not drink alcohol. Mm. I would not smoke yeah. because of the things that I saw alcohol and other things yeah. doing to the community that I grew up in. Okay. So instead of me buying those things, alcohol, I would rather buy things. Because my father used to say, Mugabe, mm. used to say, as a man, he taught me how to polish shoes. Okay. Like Asta, by the way. Okay, wow. He did better, he did better. Yes, yes. And I learned that from Mugabe. Mm. And every time he would say, I would ask him, because he would una polish the boots and that's how he would drive a truck. Jeez, nobody and even sees him. And I would like, but, but dude, he <laughs> boots it. Yeah. No. You see, if you are a man and you don't have a car, mm. a man is well represented when people, because at that time, we were like, how do you think they are looking at? They are looking at, they are what do you, what do you think they are looking at? They are looking at, what is that? What is that? Even though he might have been joking at that time, but, but I think it meant it's a, something. Exactly. To so he said, if you are a man, your your shoes must be they must look representable. Yeah. You must always have a jacket with you because you don't know where you're gonna end up. Wow. If you have a car, 
You can't have a car come on a light, take a mm, moon and a Something is wrong. It must be clean. Mm. So when I grow, when I grew up and I started accumulating these things, I made sure that even though I had a, a golf one, yeah. was three, that your first car? It was my first car. Yeah. Mara, it was my first car. It was a golf one, but it was beautiful. Mm. It had Mac wheels. It had <laughs> it had everything. Good sound. Yeah, good sound. It had everything because I could see what Mara Nashab Shab, the mm. life I'm mm. living, is not this one, man. Mara, there's somewhere I wanna go. The reason why I even left Katlo home and started getting a townhouse outside Katlo mm. is because I could see what every time I come to SABC with this golf. No, every time I'm in Katlo. My peers are like, yo, dude, I got rako in some food. Mara, when I go out and I meet guys who go SABC, they driving one series. They drive. <laughs> Kir, no, Your guys are No, bang bambeze, I get no nyapu. They make you feel like you're the man. When and you are there, yeah. When you are with your peers. I, you are you are there, yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, buy a pum. So when the money started growing and mm. growing, now I mean my taste started growing. Of course. And growing. The 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 ones started growing and growing. Yeah. The needs yeah. piled up. Justice. So that's how it was. And and Takey became part of this. Takey became part. <laughs> Takey, not a chicken. It's a place. <laughs> You, you, what were you doing with, with, with these trips to take? My brother, uh, I had a, I, I, I finally met a friend who was buying clothes overseas mm. and bringing them to South Africa. And I was very intrigued because I've always been a person who likes business. Yeah. I always wanted to know what more can I do? I've always said to people, I want nine income streams. Yeah. Wow. I don't, <laughs> I've always said that. Yes. So he said to me, no, dude, you know what? Um, I don't know what happened with him and SAA, and then they gave him tickets for free to go to. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yes, he said, yes. let's they go. They used to do that. I don't know if they do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, I tagged along. We yeah. went to Tegi. I never looked back since, but now it's Brazil. Now I. So you're still in the game? I'm still in the game. Hey, man. I'm not selling clothes now. You just go. But uh, I just, uh, I just love. I, I think you've noticed uh, Gabriel. Gabriel mm, likes mm. traveling. Yeah, of course, a lot. I, I love traveling. So <laughs> the, the countries have changed now. It's no longer Turkey, it's now Thailand, Brazil. Uh, I can't come to America that much because it's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have to, you take it on the chin when you go to the U.S. Yeah. You yeah. accept it. Definitely. For what it is. Definitely. And just say, I. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, get a, you get a bag of $10. Ah, dollars. You're like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's a lot of money. $10. That's like 20 bucks. And more, actually. Oh, it's not 20. It's, it's 10 times 20. <laughs> yes. You're yes. like, ah, oh, get 200. That's Demosier. crazy. All uh, right. But th did the business grow, the techie business? No, it didn't really. What were the challenges? Time. Oh, because now you have stock, exactly. but you don't have time to sell. You've got stock, now you want to sell, but now Mubango wants you, now this needs you. Now It, it was just too much. Jeez. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, funny enough, a friend of mine in Durban, his business grew. Same business. And he's still doing it. Same business. Same business. And he's still doing it. <laughs> you, you told him. But yeah, now he was focused on that only. Yeah. He was doing that only. It was easier. It was easier. Yeah, I know I know people. Those type of businesses were cool, man. Yeah. I remember growing up in the township. There was a guy who used to sell from a boot of his car. And that was nice. He's, he's opened two shops. One in there Santin. The other one in, in, in Menley. There you go. And he used to sell from the boot of his car. I know. People don't believe me. Yeah. When I started this thing, I actually ended up doing it with Lebo Khitan. Lebo Khitan. Yes, I don't remember Lebo Khitan. Yes, wow, yes. uh, memorials. I'll tell you Lebo Khitan stories. Been yeah. here once to, yeah. to talk about all sorts of uh, marketing stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's, he stands out when we talk about uh, the Porsche that he bought for yes, the daughter. Yes, for the daughter. That's the, the story that people <laughs> always talk about. Like, yeah. oh, man, oh. When are you bought Porsche from when I went to high school? In high school. Yes, that's label. I grew up under label. Yes, oh yes. I okay. grew up under label. All the labels that I was wearing, all that, I saw them from label. Label actually used to travel with me when I started being serious on this thing. Mm. Started traveling with me. Actually, there's a shop in Eastgate now. It's very strong. They call it like, like Exception. Mm. That's the, that shop started like this. Wow. It's in Eastgate. Now. One item. One item. They bring it. And if Lebo doesn't have it, he would send you to Eastgate. No, go to Mar Mar Marcus. Yes. He's the owner of the shop. Now that guy, you can't touch him. And it all started so small. You can't touch him. Do you sometimes think you should have stayed on with it? 
Ish, my brother. I I think you know sometimes I don't like. I mean I don't like looking at things and saying ah. I, I couldn't. Regret. No, 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 no. But because I'm thinking, worry. Even where I am now, I am a thousand steps away from where I started. That's true. So I'm still fine. Yeah. I'm still okay. I've got small and things that I'm doing on the side that are paying off, that are doing well. Mm. I don't know if I would be able to be stuck in a shop. Uh, yes. I don't well, you're the I guy that travels and gets the material. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but now if you're not there, you know, like I've got a guy who owns a, a filling station and he tells me about all that bits. I'm like, just panangi. If it's a grocery fail, I'm not going to check. I'm only just going to register the the match is say 150. Yeah. But the match is still there. How? People have plans, maybe. I, I was at a at a paint shop. Uh, yeah. You may have noticed when you walk in here, we there's yes, some construction. Yes yes, yes. yes. I was at a paint shop a few days ago. Um, I buy what I buy, I pay, mm. and then uh, I realize I forgot something else. Yeah. And I say, hey man, when uh, nan nan nan, small tiny little tin of paint, and this guy says to me, "U tengela wena," because he realized how I remembered. Yeah. It was uh, I wasn't I wasn't remembering what the boss said, but what I need. Yeah. About tengela wena, u tengela umlu. Umlu. Kare no 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 tengela me. Are okay, so see chonche. So when's the planning come? Are see chonche or uvunuk pata? Ati ha not. Ati no ang siras. Kere no 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 me na ang funi si chonche ang funi pet lagi. Foi pen di a hundred rand. Kuba lang ni ni siyama la. So so if I'm selling clothes and I'm not at the shop, you don't know what's going on. One person could have seen a loophole there. There's always a loophole. There's always a loophole. I owned a shop in Mamelodi and I used to steal, steal meat. I grew up on. I grew up on. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the hustle has been there. Look, you know, no register now, my mebra. Yes, yes. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Uh, and now, what other TV jobs do you do in the middle once you leave uh, Speak Out? Uh, I don't know which one came first. The speak out against about Sergeant Coco Bella. Yes. Um, I did a lot of international movies, which now most of them give up a lot. Oh, you only. don't? Even, they're not even here. No, they're not even here. Those they're, are cool collabs, right? They are. There's one that I did, uh, the Angels of the Path. Yeah. I did it with uh, I I I I, ho I I wish he gets well soon. Um, um, Jimmy Fox. Really? Yeah. Wow, look at that. I did it with him, but it was never it was never here. Yes, yeah, yes. It so, played where it yeah, played. Yeah, it played where it played, it was never here. Wow. Um, yeah. So I, I have enjoyed this industry, my brother, and yes. I'm still enjoying it. Even though now I think it's time for me to be doing other things or behind the scenes. Mm. But I'm still enjoying what I'm doing. Yes. There are a lot of things that I'm doing. Mama Zala, uh, which do is Do you enjoy that? I do, but it's me again <laughs> doing speak out Mara now with the in-laws. That's the thing. That's Easy. why. That's why I ask because you said you don't want to do the speak out. The thing confrontation, anymore, the but confront it's still there. It's still. It, it looks like it follows me everywhere I go because <laughs> wherever you go, people will come and say, "Ah, Mara, when you can help me, but you know, can I learn one more? Euro pilogi di lawyer ker Mara guys na ko pa na guys di lawyer. Are you? Are you? Is there a natural confrontational thing inside your character, inside I, your personality? I think, I think, I think it is there because, yeah, no, I think there. it's there. You know, it's it. there because even when we have a conversation, matter when I feel like ah uh ah, -uh, no, yeah. uh -uh, I'm not just gonna keep quiet. I yeah. would, I would, I would jump in and say, but no. It can. Ah ah. Because because it's easy also to put up an act. To understand, yes, I got cameras on. Yes, yes. Uh, now I must just argue, yeah, yeah. because cameras are there. Yeah. Sometimes, my brother, you know, you know, when we do these things, the more especially I speak out, mm. I, I know I should be, I shouldn't be saying this, but sometimes you would actually say, "Come to right, mfana korela," and our korela, he knows. I see push laughing, right? Ima camera, right? Ima camera, read deal and now we're not leba, we're not leba na. Yes. Yeah, but the time I let the camera, so do me la na lin. Sesi afu me na, sesi aswa na man. Because benga ki pele lin. Benga ki pele nga camera. <laughs> so you see, it was not just for cameras because we even switched them off and say, ah, and one, eh, eh. What is the problem with the cameras? When, 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 in your experience, yes. you come to me, yes. I robbed someone, yes. uh, and I see cameras. Yes. What is the natural reaction by these guys? It softens you. Really? It softens you because you already know if I shoot people, I can't shoot him on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. If I beat people up, I can't, I can't do it on camera. So even if you don't want to behave, I've got the power. 
the cameras are with me. Wow. Where now we we just rocked up and you are shocked. Or, hey, yo, okay, I need to be in my best behavior. Do you know my favorite types? What? The ones who keep quiet. Yeah. You can talk. You speak and speak. <laughs> speak and speak. <laughs> and you know, I've seen those pop up held. Either pop held or. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Jola 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My favorite guys. And that, and that one will kill you. <laughs> ah, that one will kill you because you have no content. You know, <laughs> what are you going to go with? Nothing. You said nothing. You're going with the person who's screaming. Are we too late? So too late. I'm not telling one. I was sort of it. Mm. Can I go? Can now? I go? <laughs> you have nothing to go with. <laughs> <laughs> Ever had a show with 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 speak out where you thought ah, I was not. We didn't get the juice. No, I've had I've had a show with speak out where I felt after I confronted the person from this was wrong Ooh. because. I write that King David has cheated me out of my money. When I get there, I realize, oh, no, it's the other way around. Ooh. <laughs> but now because I'm there. And, and you, you were brought by Yeah, this now I have to fight. Even though I realize, no, man. Uh -uh. King David comes up and says, here's my proof. Here's my proof. No, the person you came with actually is the one who did ABC. I took this thing because, oh, 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 so, 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 so. Yeah. This, uh, and you realize, all right, man. That's a nice story, my, my, This one is wrong. Yeah, that's a nice... I like that. It's no, a, but now it's, it's, big, <laughs> it's big out with a twist. <laughs> but, but now I have to sit there and think, what am I ish? Now, how am I going to fix this? I'll fix it, that losing link. Oh, yeah. I go to the closing link. I'm like, ah, it doesn't mean just because you called us, you are right. It's a good point. It doesn't mean you are right because if I get there and I find Horowa and you are the one, I will turn around and speak out against you. No, which is which is what I'm supposed to do because I'm not taking sides. Did you do that for this for this particular one? I had to reprimand this one. I didn't speak out against, but I had to reprimand them and say, uh, "What you did is wrong." For us to solve this thing, make sure that you give this person what you took. Yeah. This guy will give you what's yours. Do you find what do you find about South Africans mm. when you? see so many of these stories either the the ones who cheat mm. or the ones who get cheated what do you find about us i you know south, south africa we 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 are unique mm -hmm. the things that you know more especially when I, that's why I get, i'm tired mm. because i kept on giving the same advice over and over and over <laughs> and over okay. but the people are still doing the same thing yeah because i found Mara, it doesn't make sense that if a person says i'm going to bring your curtains how should you rookie you look out of the curtains are 40,000 you've paid them 40,000 for something that you've never even seen Eish. that that to me never made sense and you saw it often so many times and i kept on asking but why this person said, pay deposit 5,000, you pay 40. How is this person going now to give you? Because he's got your money already. He's going to go and attend somebody else. That's food. it. My brother, you get to a point where people are writing to speak out and saying, a camera guy, we paid him 28,000 rands mm. for taking pictures of our wedding. He has not brought the album. Mm. But you look at these people, Khormara. Okay, I'm not here to judge or anything, but, but you pay 28,000 rands. You are staying in a room that you hired. You don't even have couches. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let me go back to my question. Okay. I think you answered it, but I want to hear you succinctly. What do you think about us? I'm, scared to, say, us I'm scared to say what I think. <laughs> say it I'm in scared. the nicest possible way. I, what is wrong with us? What do you find? We lack information. Ish. Maybe Man. that's the nicest way of putting it. We lack information. And those who have information, they use it against those who that lack. Who lack information. So, so, so now, if I was to ask about the ones who cheat us. Yeah. Those are the ones who cheat us. They are the ones They've who They've got information. Better. They know, Hore, if I take this money, you've got, well, you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Bari. So they use it against you. Bari. Ah, <laughs> Ah, So you're saying most of us are bad. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 hey, you're King, not taking that King David this show is big okay. I don't want to go around people say why don't you just worry well it's okay don't worry man. don't worry I won't, I won't commit you to that those are my words and I also I'm asking you so yes, you, yes, you're not yes. agreeing or disagreeing Mara my brother some of the things that we do you sit down and ask yourself Mara how did we get here 
Wow. Wow. And you continue to see it, I guess, because so many shows uh, are similar to speak out in a lot of ways. Yeah. So you, we yeah. continue to see I mean, this. like the show that is doing the rounds now since October. No, not October. Uh, X repo Yes, yes. You sit there and you think, oh, Mara, this is, it's a, these are the things I ran away from. These very issues. They are, 2000, 2023, they are still there. Yeah. Ah, they won't go away, man. They are still there, King David. <laughs> was it a difficult decision to leave uh, Speak Out? What was what were the circumstances of your My brother, you know, I left Speak Out when I actually loved it. Really? I still loved Speak Out, but I think it was time for me to move on. Not because I wanted to move on, yeah. but because of the treatment that I had from the production company that I was working with. Okay. I was not happy, my brother. And you know, I don't remember who was here. I think it's um, uh, Lamini. Uh, um, uh, who's Lamini? Um, Shakes? No, no, uh, no, no, no. Lamini is uh, Ulo. Lamini with the H. Dogs. Yeah, he, Dogs. Uh, no, not Hamilton. No, Hamilton. Is, is. is he not? He's not Lamini. He is Lamini. Yeah, Hamilton. Yes, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamini with the H. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lamini and Dogo, uh, yes. Ndosh. Ndosh was here yeah, saying in this industry, once you start talking, Khorimara, guys, this is not right. This is what production. Production. Yeah. yeah. You start being demonized. You start Eish. being called names. You are a diva. You are that. And all I was asking for was, guys. Can I please, when we say we're shooting at nine, can we start shooting at nine? Eesh. Guys, can we please have lunch time? Because if I left my house and you said your call time is nine o'clock, mm. I leave my house at seven, that means I, I didn't have time to have yeah, breakfast. Yeah, that's true. Can we have breakfast? Mm. Guys, can we please, if we are going to shoot in Rustenburg and we just did backstories and stuff, can we please just go to lunch? Because you must understand. It's a simple request. You must it? understand. If I go to a confrontation, mm. I can't go there hungry because that thing consumes energy That's out it. of me. That's it. When you say those things, you are diva, you are this. Yeah, when you want to call, you want to tell us what to do with our time. And I'm thinking, but... <laughs> Basically, just do your work. Can we do yeah, our yeah, 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 That's yeah. what they're just, saying. Yeah, too. just work. Yeah. Why are you hungry? <laughs> You don't have a right to be hungry. Where? Yes. And you're thinking, guys, why do you want us to be on time? Why? <laughs> why? You know this this industry, you call it hurry up and wait. Mm. No, I don't want to hurry up and wait. I want to shoot. So it, it, so it seems like, as you say, you still and love the, the show. But I did. Yeah. Even now, my brother, I still watch Big Out because I still love the show. Yeah. Then I was called to SABC. At SABC, you know, producers, they will have a bigger, uh, their, way, their words are, have more weight than as a presenter. Yeah. And SABC, I, I I hope at some point they realize what I was saying because after me, there are other presenters that came and to came. speak out and they complain about the same things. I, at that time, I think SABC realized what Mara Tingan was telling them. Something here. Because I was not the only one. Even yeah. guys after me still complained about the same things. Jeez. But you still, you felt, I'm out. I was like, ah, guys, you know what? It's okay. It's been real. It's okay. So it's been real. I'm out. And they didn't believe that I that I would walk. I walked. Yeah, because you were a big famous guy then. Man. I walked. Because that show came with, with the fame. And it's not like I walked because I knew I took Speak Out to higher heights. Uh -uh. No. I walked because as a person, I felt what I'm being compromised. Yeah. It has nothing to do with Dingan making Speak Out this or no. It was just me thinking, but at some point I have to look out for me. That's true, eh? So I had to walk away. Working the, with the relationship you have with Mubang. Yeah. Now tell us the truth. Yes. Gabriel's departure. Was it real? <laughs> ah, you see, that, that question is late. That <laughs> question know. is late because no. it's back on screen. No, I know. Oh, okay. What was, was it, was it intentional? This entire I think it was. That he left and then came back. I think he was. I think it was because, I mean, the writers, even the way they went about it, they wanted noise. And we took it. And it made noise. And it did. A lot it of noise. Made. King David called. <laughs> <laughs> didn't he? I must admit, though, we didn't call because of that. Okay. It was sheer coincidence. Come. And, and, yeah. then, and then we played into the yeah. coincidence as yeah. well, you know, because yeah. we published the video after mm. he had already gone back. Oh, yes. okay. After we okay. had already found out yeah, well, that he's gone know, back. He's going back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I think it was intentional. It worked. It worked. <laughs> it got all I think it was a big gamble because they could have lost viewers because people were saying, I And like, Gabriel is no longer there. Aye. Yeah. It was yeah. a huge gamble. 
But when you look at it now, you think, ah, it worked. It worked. Eh? It worked. It, isn't there a sense of competition amongst these uh, big actors? Uh, and I say, how? well, who's bigger? Who's uh, who's got more attention? Who gets the most attention? Do, I think, do you guys have that? I think in many productions, they do have stuff like that. I've worked with, I've been lucky. Yeah. I work with a lot of productions. And when you get there, I mean, you are new in that production. And when you look around, you see egos. You, uh, we're not going to run away from it. Mm. Famous people have egos. Yeah. And they always think I'm better than the, uh, the next guy. Mm -hmm. But that's why I say I love Mubang. We don't have that on Mubang. It's none of that. No. Mubang, we don't have... We don't have celebrities. We've got artists. Whoa. We've thespians. Got, we got, we've got thespians <laughs> on Mobile. Yes. You get there. Even no matter, even if you are new, those guys will welcome you. That's it, eh? Even if you are new, you come in there to be with them for like a week or two, those guys will. If I'm lying, let anybody go on social media and tell me mm. who has ever been on the set of Mobile and was ill-treated. Treated like they don't matter. Let them, let them call me out. Yeah. I'm ready. Would you play steering? <laughs> I'm playing steering now. No way. Steering's on it. Steering says alone not the animate. Fan dam. Ah, steering says that you Oh, that's a thing. We know steering. According to Rambo. How, how we knew steering <laughs> in a in a in a when we were growing up. Steering is a bad. At least it is a gorgeous. <laughs> no, no, I would. It's a corner. Yeah. Because you, you, you have the belt, now you've gained a bit of weight. Yes, yeah, see, I mean, I'm a At some point, <laughs> we're exactly the same. I've stayed here for so long. I'm a brother. Yeah, so at least you gain lenya. Yeah. Oka kwa jisa nya. Ah, nka kwa jisa, Micho. So, kat lala karati nya. If Netflix were to come and say, hey, listen. Yeah. The only thing about Kupa Nyo Anakura, guys, I don't want to go there. Ke, ke iti nye libizo. Give me two months, three months oh, yeah. of working on this thing. Oh, yeah. Working on it, to working get, on the get, stunts. Yeah. Yes, to get exactly, exactly. Yeah. If I'm going to shoot, let me shoot the proper way. Let me know how to hold the gun. Exactly. <laughs> if I'm going to dive and do karate, let me do it the proper way. So you'd be open to these I type would. of roles. I yeah. would. Because, no, no, with this, with this look, yeah, I did tell you. Don't let the jail <laughs> I can't wait to read for the day to name of fashion anymore. I that. But it's nice that I did it before fashion. No, well, all the same. And then fashion, I can't wait to read the to name, boss. Because not in the mix. I got to next week. I remember, I don't hate, bro. No, I'm hating. Nah, I don't hate. Dude, I'm hating on what I don't have. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, you are, you are in a big platform. I'm jealous of you, but I'm not hating. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you would you would take up uh, this big enormous I am the big what, what what then becomes what are some of the dreams you have you know the dream with your career obviously with my career yes. obviously uh, the dreams I have my brother mm. is I wrote a long term I want to call it a soapy but it's, I, I'll, I'll call it a long term for now okay um, it's a story between South Africa and Botswana that's why that's where I'm gonna leave it wow. I think it's one of the big... Everybody says their story is big. Just like everybody course. says, my child is beautiful. Of course, of course. I, my child I, is smart. Of course. Yes. Um, the South African government, and should I say, to be more specific, the SABC bought into the story. They say, number one, mm. will put half of the budget. Botswana. Oh, yeah. Botswana is not coming to the party. And I think if I were to get that one, mm. and I get it right, and we shoot it, it's a series. It's a series. Yeah. And if we were to get it right and shoot it, whether Netflix can call or whoever, if we can get that right and shoot it. My brother, we have a lot of talent. South Africa, we guaranteed. We yeah. already know that. Yeah. Talent is there. The list of our problems. Aye. Yeah. More you should, should watch the number of people on 11. Like a thousand uh, people. There you go. <laughs> there so you go. Yes. By the way, uh, oh, but, uh, listen to that. Uh, but you get a bomb and bizarre. So. <sighs> It anyway, really anyway, nice. that's a story yeah. for another day. Yes. If only I can just try, because I'm trying to show the Botswana government or guys, you've got talent in Botswana, but mm. the problem is your talent is going to South Africa. True. So why can't we stop it? Yeah. Get the South African talent, get Botswana talent, and de put them together. And we're, but that's where the problem is. That's, that's, where, that's where my uh, uh, career-wise, yeah. that's where I am now. That's what I want. Is it, is, it, is it behind the camera, in front of the camera? Does it matter? On this one, I want to be behind. Yeah, you want to call the shots. I think I've done my part in front of the camera. Eh? 
Really? I think I've done my part. Bro. But not tired yet. No, 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 not tired. <laughs> but I think it's time now for me to say, there's a younger version of Siabonga Kumalo out there. Come here. Let's try him. Come here. There's a boy I met at the gym in Mill Park. The other, I, I'm dying to get that boy a character. Yeah. He doesn't even know me from a well. He knows me, but I don't know him. I don't know him from a bar of soap. What did you see in I, him, bro? A young boy, yeah. respectful. He did his monologue for me. I asked him to do a monologue. I gave him two days. He came back and he killed it. Well built, mm. good looking young man. I'm thinking this boy. So he's got a big TV, yeah. film ambition. I'm thinking, I this boy. Yeah. I need to find this boy's place somewhere. Jeez. There's That's... a guy in, in Cape Town. His name is Wade. He's he's big. I follow him. He follows me on TikTok. Mm. He ended up getting a road where it's two lines. He was complaining to me and saying, yeah, Mara, they gave me two lines. I said to him, <laughs> my entire career started with two lines. That's it, eh? So don't, don't, Get down, the ambulance. don't downplay it. <laughs> Just kid. Yeah. Get Somebody the call ambulance. the ambulance, yeah. <laughs> Somebody, call, Somebody the, call the ambulance. You will never forget <laughs> I will never forget that You must that just line. appreciate that, eh? It's two lines in a movie. A lot of people are in a movie, they never say a single word. They die. They die. <laughs> the first thing that happens, the whole story is about you. Say, oh! the, whole, the entire movie is about oh, you. Oh, yeah. That he, but you are not there. You killed him. My brother, listen. Mokwebo, uh, Edward's father, Mobang, was still there today. Yeah. Out of his death. The storyline still carries him. But he died first episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mess. I would charge royalties. <laughs> I promise ah, you, I would right. charge royalties. <laughs> Marriage, is it something that matters to you? Hey, I don't know. <sighs> you see now, <laughs> hey, I don't know. Mother. Let me ask it. Yeah. Let me ask it. Yeah. The way you were brought up, yes, has that affected the way you see marriage? I think so. How? I think so because you know, with the with the things that we started with, talking about my dad yeah. and my stepdad, somewhere somehow as a boy growing up, you start thinking, "Hormara, everybody lies. Yeah, everybody has something to hide. True. Do I want to be in that position where?" You start with more especially with the kind of shows that I do. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll make an example with Mama Zab. Yeah. You go into these places and you go into these houses and you look at how the mothers in law treats the daughters in law, Ew. how the mothers in law treat the son in law, how the Magodi treats the mother, and you start thinking, what is it worth it? Is it worth the is trouble? It, is it worth the trouble? <laughs> yes. Worst part of it, at this day and age, marriage looks like a Quish a uh, barking a uh, get rich quick scheme. Depends who's rich. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> People get married because what do you have? Mm -hmm. What am I gonna gain? Yeah. It's not no wonder me. nobody wants to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Finally comes out. Thank you, man. The clarity. This is a moment of clarity for me. But but you know, <laughs> look, bruh, it's it's all what am I what am I getting out yeah. of it? What am I and the funny thing is, and this is what I it, it's very close to my heart. Rona, the fathers, mm -hmm. we always teach our sons to work hard, be smart, work very hard, build a house, get married, and take care of your family. Of course, yeah. But then again, on the other hand, the girl child has been taught, work hard, get your money, be independent, you don't need a man. Mm. They don't connect. Now, my problem is, who is this boy? We're teaching him to get married and take care of a family, but who is he going to marry? Mm. Cause she because was this, told because she was told yeah. be independent, get your money. You don't need a man. If you think about it, based on how you present it, mm. which side of that coin should be reorientated? The girl. I would say the girl. Be aware. This, yeah, you're treading on very thin ice. I know. Here. I know. Very thin. I know. Yeah. Then you crack. I know. You got problems in your. I life. know. Uh, it, it's it's is it the girl who's independent because because mm -hmm. it's easy now we start using words like too independent you get it becomes a thing i know yes or is it the boy who is well who's told make sure that you look after a family mm. you work hard enough and look after a family because mm. both sides are troubled now in some way yeah uh, and it's easy depending on which <clears throat> part of the stands in the stadium you sit in you will say hey, Amma, those ones are useless mm. ah, but these ones they don't Hey, mm. I marry her and she's she's a she's mm. a problem. You see what I mm. mean? Mm. I've given you a, the lay of the land. What's the alternative? I mean, we want families, right? Mm -hmm. We want our kids to grow up in happy homes. 
We want our kids to know the difference between right and wrong. True. We want our kids to be good members of the society. Mm. What's the alternative? If yeah. they're not going to grow up in a happy home, what's the alternative? Yeah. That's that's where I'm coming from. Because if if I'm going to teach Amase and Oluake that Amase work and make money, and that's good. Mm. I want my daughter to work. I want my daughter to have her money. Mm. But would I be fair to her when I say you don't need a man? Yeah. Would I be fair to her? Is that good parenting? No. It's not. Not in my opinion. It's yeah. not. Not in my opinion, too. Yeah. It's not. But when you say these things, you are called toxic masculinity. Mm. You are called misogynist. You are called controlling. Yeah, hey, you know but those words. I know them. <laughs> if, How if, can you not know them? Have they ever used gaslighting against My you? brother, they, <laughs> they call you anything, anytime. Yes. You say no to one person, they call you something. You now say, it was a guy that said I was gaslighting. So it was oh, not wow. a girl. So it's, it's even, it hit oh, even wow. harder. Anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> so so that's, that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. I don't know where we lost it, but I still feel like days like take a girl child to work mm -hmm. i mean that day doesn't make sense to me i've got two girls and one boy yeah that day comes what must i do to my son Ish. it's take a girl child to work must i leave him at home and take my girls mm. that's where the resentment comes from when when now these boys start smoking nyaube and they start misbehaving and we say what's oh, dope no we created that monster mm. because when i was exposing my girl kids to all the finer things in life, I left him at home. To do what? And nobody... And he asked. He asked. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys... And they come back. They come back with so pictures. They come back with pictures, ice cream, this, blah, blah, blah. We had a beautiful day. And he's thinking, why was I left out? Yeah. What do I say to him? Oh. Marriage. Let's what do back. I say to him? Let's go back. Now, marriage, uh. I still think those who wants to get married, go ahead. Yeah. But those who don't want to get married, I at this day and age, my brother, I would never suggest that people should get married or shouldn't. Mm. I mean, at this day and age, everybody's got information in the palm of their hands. That's true. They can do whatever they want. But yeah. according to me, and I might be crucified, but according to me, it depends who, which side of the coin you sitting on. Do you think uh, it may happen that you find someone that will make you want to marry them? Make you. I have. Yes. I have. Okay. Um, I did marry her. Uh. And and a note. I will ask again yes. the same question. Yes. Just differently, but carry yes. on. I, yes. I did find a lady, beautiful lady, yeah. gorgeous, gave me two kids, married her. I'm not going to lie. You know, uh, my brother, marriage is, I don't know if it's worth the trouble, eh? Uh. Yeah, and I'm just being honest. I might be called names, but I, I'm just being honest. We had issues where at some point you sit down and ask yourself, what a matter do I want to deal with another woman's child mm. in this way? Because you must remember, you, didn't, you were not brought up the same. Mm -hmm. You were brought up with your own values. She was brought up their own That's way. It, yeah. Now you need to meet. To make this thing work. To make this thing work. Yeah. It's, it's even worse now because whatever you say in your house or whatever you say in that marriage, you really have to tread carefully mm. because it's either it's abuse or yeah. it's controlling or it's something else. Mm. And yet when she wants to say something to you, you need to take it like a man. Same question. Marriage, mm. your state of mind as a result mm. of your previous marriage, mm. could that be the reason that your state of mind now was informed by that because you did it before. So that means you walked in mm. a different man. Mm. You walked in willing. Uh, you put in a ring. You went down on your knee. That's you know, the process you, you follow. You know, you know, I did it traditionally. Yes. Yeah. You know, when you when you do the. Uh, luckily enough, my grandfather was still alive and he sat me down and said, if you look, in, if you look up marriage in the dictionary, mm. there's no happily ever after. <laughs> look up the word marriage. Yes. It's challenge, it's sacrifice, it's compromise you would never find happily ever after. Yeah. But Rona, when we get into these things, you come in there thinking, I have a wife. Yeah. It's going to be nice. It's going to be happily ever after. And you get there you're like, whoa, mm. stop you, Lori. It's not. I think all the end, the work that I do has influenced me to think the way I think. Now. Okay. Because, you know, if it was just a once in a while, uh, thing you would think, mm. ah, Mama's King David was was unlucky. Yes, but my brother, you see it all the time. Ah, all the time.
like my job when i say i'm shooting mama zala that's what i work with <laughs> with those and, and there's never there's never been a mama zala call that says come take me to mama zala i want to give her flowers she's be no justice it's always mama zala kicking is kicking me out of the house because my husband had died mm. my my daughter in law is taking my son's thing it's always justice. always there's never been a show where they say come let's go let's throw a party for mama zala because okay. and they are yes. there are people who are happy with their of mama course Zalas. absolutely many yeah. So so two possibilities with mm. your state of mind. Your current state of mind is that marriage maybe not. Yeah. Where you brought to that position, it can be by Mama Zala. Yeah, no 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 no. Mama no, Zala no. just uh, reinforced mm. <laughs> your position. Yeah. What brought you there? Something must have A lot of there. things. Yeah. I grew up and I had two uncles, one of them who brought up two boys. And when these boys uh, were finishing varsity, they were he was told that these kids are not yours. I was far away from marriage at that time. Whoa. And you sit down <laughs> and you think, Horemara. Yes, yes. And then, why are you still digesting that Utatako shows up? Yeah. You're still watching Utatako. You're still digesting Utatako. You have your own problems. Mama Zala come, comes up. And you start, you put these things together. Yeah. And you say, whoever wants to get married, good go, luck. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, but these are the issues that are out there. So, the way I think now, mm. I think we have to be smart about things. Yeah, King David, there are beautiful ladies out there. Mm -hmm. There are beautiful ladies with good intentions who will never run away from it. Yeah, They are there. There are guys out there, uh, King David, with good intentions, yeah. who wants to get married, who wants to have solid families. They are there. We can't run. The problem is how do they meet? Because a lot of these good ladies have found useless guys mm -hmm. who have played them so much that they even lost faith in yeah. men. Oof. And we can't run away from that. We've mm. got brothers that are just going out there and messing us, messing our names so badly yeah. that when you find this good lady, by the time you find her, she is so damaged. Not damages in, mm. but mm. she is, she doesn't trust anything yeah. that has been said by men. You have ladies that have abused men emotionally, physically, well, mm. emotionally, physically, financially, that this man doesn't trust any lady anymore. Mm -mm. So now, how do, where do we strike the balance? Justice. How do they meet the few good ones that are left the few good ladies that are left mm. and the few good guys that are left, how do they meet? Joe, I think we should start a, a, uh, a thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. How do they a, meet? A thing where the good ladies and the good guys will meet. <laughs> but how, how do we know? <laughs> yeah, who's who? Who's who? Yes, what I intentions do you have? I think I'm good. <laughs> and then uh, I'm confronted by a situation that exposes the evil side of my personality that I wasn't even aware of. And your partner started thinking, David, you know what I thought you are. Yes. And that time you were just in that situation. Sure. My brother said, it's, it, I don't know. So no, no wedding bells for you. <sighs> <laughs> no wedding bells. I, I will take care of the people that are around me right now. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fine with them. You're fine with yeah, what you have. I'm fine with them. There's a, and, and correct us and, 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 and do tell me if you're willing to speak about this. Yes. Uh, the Kai FM a moment. Mapasek. Yes. Mm. When one, is that moment true? Because I only know about it in hindsight, in reading about it. You will have to be more specific. Which moment? Ah, the moment when uh, you were the one who was being interviewed. Yes. And I was you, in studio. Yes, you were in studio. Mm. And a moment in the interview spoke about uh, looking after kids or looking after your child. And mm. correct me, because mm. I'd, I'd rather you tell the story because mm. you would probably tell it better. Mm. Mm. And then there was a call from someone that said, ah, demand gama was. No, it was a call okay. from the mother of my child. Okay. I, actually, I think they actually called her. Oh, yeah. Jeez, they want a drama. Look, um, the mother of my child, I'm not going to lie, my brother, we had a fantastic time with, uh, with Tulu. Yeah. I loved her dearly. That's why we had a child. Of course. At some point, I think we fell out of favor with each other. There was... The child, the, child was already there. The child was there. Okay. No, actually, um, she told me after we broke up that she was pregnant. Mm. And then when she told me, 
obviously I tried to work things out and they did work out. Mm. The child was born. So who is the mother of my child? Yeah. Uh, a lot of things has been take, have, have been or has been taken out of context. Mm. I would never bet mouth to because mm. wherever she is, she's raising my daughter. Yeah. There's a huge miscommunication. Um, we can't find each other. Mm. No matter how, I, I know I'm trying on my side. I don't know if she's trying on her side. I would never speak for her. She'll speak for herself one day. Of course. But the bottom line is we have a daughter. But I can tell you now, King David, without bad mouthing anybody, wherever my daughter is, she's been told your father wants nothing to do with you. Oh. The same story how I grew up. Yes. Even you, though you were, you if, were told, well, if, you were told nothing. But I was told by the sister, Yo, the one that course, I told. Yes. Yeah, I was told nothing. Mm. But there are many kids today that are growing up with fathers wanting to be in their kids' lives, mm. but for some reason they are being prevented to do that, and the kids are told that your father wants nothing to do with you, which is not true. How much effort? And and because I'm with you here, mm. Mm. and and also so we understand how mm. much effort. Have you put together to try to make sure that you you see your child? How much effort have you have you mastered to say, but this has to be fixed? My brother, I I have called my parents. My parents have gone with me to meet the other family. We have spoken about this thing. Mm. I have gone there to ask to see my daughter. I, I remember the last time I went there, I wanted to pick her up for the weekend. Yo. Solo was in there. She was going through mm. some things that she was supposed to do personally, yeah. which I can say on air. Of course, of course. Yeah, she was doing those things, but she was not home. Mm -hmm. um, I was refused by her father to take my daughter, and I couldn't take my daughter for the weekend. That, yeah. that really, really didn't sit well with me, and it was a sore um, it was a painful part yeah. that I can never forget. Of course. Um, you try speaking to lawyers, but that's when you start realizing, what about a sharp sharp person who got this law? When it comes to Majita, mm. eh, they drag their feet. So it hasn't worked in your favor? No. And can you imagine, a guy who's got connections like me mm, it's still has tricky. struggled. It's tricky for him. Can you imagine a guy who just works go, if I'm yeah. cement? Mm. He stands no chance. Yeah, and the reason I ask about the, the amount of effort you 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 put into this exercise mm. is it's easy for people to to watch this, read about it, and say you're not trying hard enough. Of course, you, you uh, this is not an impossible project. I get it. I get it. People always look at things from the outside, mm. and they think if I was there, I would do this better. Yes. Until they are there, and trying to speak to the mother, I can't find her. I I know what you're gonna say. You are in the same industry. You are, we, you know the way it's so bad. Ne? I don't know if he and I, she's mad at me, but now I've passed that stage. I yes. mean, at some point even got married yes. to some mm. guy. I, I yeah. When the breakup happened, when everything happened, mm. but we grow up. We grow up yes. and you start realizing what I should I should not have done that. Do you, you know? feel there's moments of upaisa in your in your part of the story? Yeah, of course. Yeah. My brother, we as men, the first thing that we need to do is take responsibility of our our shortfall. There was a time where there was a time where me and Solo would not live in peace. And we would scream at each other and Ooh. fight with and I'm thinking what about uh, there are times where I could have just kept quiet. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> some of the things that were not necessary for me to say. Yeah. You know You, you didn't say, have to no. to throw the to throw the voice back. No, <laughs> no. You know when some when your partner says we know that uh, most, not all, mm. most women are good with words. Yeah. And most men are not good with words. I think I'm good with words. Yeah. But when she throws a punch, I would punch Throw back, back. yeah. And, I'm, and, I, and I sit now, at my age, I would sit down and say, but... That was not necessary. Yeah. Had, I not, had, I, had I avoided A, B, C, maybe yes, we would have broken up, but maybe I would have a relationship with my daughter now. True. W were you there when she was... You say you were there when yeah, she was yeah, pregnant. Yeah, when she was pregnant, I was were there. Were you there when she gave birth? I was around. I was there, but not in the room. You, no, no, no. Is yeah, it yeah. still in the yeah, relationship? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was, we were still in the relationship. You've held this child. Of course. 
Of course. So, I mean, until she was three years old. Well, I was there. We were fine. We were okay until she was three years old. And it all and it all went haywire. Have you seen your child since then? Not, not, no. Pierre, how old is your child now? She must be 12 now. What? Exactly. That's, that's, uh, bra, it's, that's a young lady with clear opinions about life course, and the world. Of course. And, and I know the day I see her, I'm going to have to sit down and listen to her asking me questions. And I know. Justice. And I know it's not going to be easy. Do you look at this and, and think your life repeats itself? Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah. Or, uh, there was a time in my life where I was Amal, uh, uh, where I was yes. Oluak. Yes. Where dad was not around. Unfortunately for her, apparently the person who had married her mom passed away. Mm. So dad was not around. You don't know where you stand in life. I don't know whether the treatment is good where she is or it's not. I have no idea. What goes on in your head? When it comes to wanting this, actually, let me ask it this way. Do mm. you want I'm dying. access to your I'm child? I'm dying to get Let me show you how much I want access to my child. I live in Hartis now. Mm. My house, there's a room that I build outside. Yeah. And that room is fully furnished for her. Jeez. So that the day she comes back. As an older lady, as a older girl. Whenever she comes yes. back and say, you forgot in me. I'm like, but I didn't. Sure. I just couldn't get... Uh, and you know, people would say, yeah, he's making excuses, he's on TV, the mother's on TV, but... Jens, you know there are people who knows her and they know me. Mm. And we would talk through them. Help. They need to help. They've tried. I can't name them, of but there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a person that I look at as a mother. She also looks at her as a mother. I've tried to ask her to be a, a, a mediator. Link, a a link, mediator. Yes. She actually came back to me and said, ah, dude, it's not working. I've tried. <laughs> so I've gone more than from the lawyers to law to families to friends yeah, to colleagues. Yes. As life would have it, have you guys been <laughs> coincidentally in the yes. same space? Yes. And? There was a time where she was rehired at Mobile. Uh, Obviously, I'm there. Yeah. But because of the things that were said and things that were done, more especially things of abuse that came up, I broke her jaw, blah, 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 yes. all those things. I made a vow that even if she's around, I'm never going to say a word to her. Because yeah. whatever I say, I'll still be wrong. Uh, yeah, I get that. But it clearly needs a third party. Which is what I did with this person. This lady. This lady, which we, which I consider as a mother. Uh. When I say a mother, I consider her as a person that I grew up under in this industry. Of course, yeah. The same with her, which I thought was the best person to talk because she's neutral. Yes, yes. That's why I say it needs someone uh, who's in the middle. It still didn't work. So what was the experience then with that you are in the same space? Awkward. It was very awkward. Didn't you have an edge? I had a lot to lo say. To say, I sister. had a lot of things to say. <laughs> I had a lot. I wanted to ask, "How is my daughter?" I wanted to ask, "How have you been?" <sighs> I wanted to ask, "Are you coping?" I was. I wanted to. I <laughs> this is crazy, man. King David. <laughs> you know, it's easy for somebody who's sitting outside, and they always say. Uh, the grass is always green on the course, other side, yes, right? Yes. But you forget that your side is the other side to other people. That's true. So, and, and I'll tell you, my green, yeah, is horse manure. <laughs> that's why <laughs> that's why it smells, but the green looks nice. Exactly. <laughs> the grass looks nice. So you sit here, man. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, my brother. I had my fair share of mm. the relationship breaking down. I had my fair you share. You know your contribution. Of course. Yeah. I mean, every relationship that breaks down or that works, it's two people in it. Absolutely. There's yeah. no way I'm going to sit here and say, she did me wrong. She, yeah, yeah. I messed up where mm. I messed up. Mm. Jeez. Do you think it's, a, it's, a, it's too harsh a punishment, this, for you not to, to have access to your Not child? only to me. To yeah. my child, 
to my mom who misses her granddaughter. Because they had a, of course, a thing. Of course. To my other kids who do not know their sister. They, they, it's not only to me. When we do these things, King David, we need to look at it. We need to look at the whole picture. Because yeah. it might be happening that whoever's doing this is trying to punish me. But they're not only punishing me. Mm. I might die tomorrow. What are they going to say to my daughter? Yeah. I'm going to die as a useless father to my daughter. That's all she's going to know about me. Do you think she's aware that you exist? My daughter, she is aware. Yeah. She is aware. That uh, yeah. there is a father. She knows that there's a guy somewhere, man. This guy, my father or something. Because you appear on TV, do you think she has a sense of that that that's my father. Hey, I don't know. You don't you wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't know. I don't know. Because when you when you disconnected, she was still very she young. She was very young. She knew I'm, I'm she called me daddy. She knew I was her dad, but she was young. And then you disappeared. And then I'm gone. Take me to that moment of disappearance. And I, I call it that because mm. we when we tell the stories, yeah, you know, I guess mm. he just left. Mm. In your case, mm. was it a? Did you see this disconnection happen slowly? It happened. Or it, it was happened. a? Today you're here, and tomorrow they're just you know, not here. You anymore? know how it happened. Um, you break up. You mm. agree that okay, you will break up. And apparently, that was the biggest, the biggest mistake I ever made. When she broke up with me, I just said okay, and then I moved on. Oh, so you couldn't say whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, that is that is the biggest mistake there's, I ever made. There's because, still a connection. Because I didn't. No, 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 no. I I didn't beg to. Maybe beg is a bad word, but I didn't beg to stay in the relationship. Okay. So I thought, okay, me and you are done. Shop. Bye-bye. Get in my car. Go. Uh. And then you still want to see the daughter. But the other party still not happy with it. There was a time where we had an arrangement that oh. you see the child on weeks like this, blah, blah, blah. But every time I would call and say, can I pick her up? They're not around. We are in Mabopa and we are here. We Jeez. are here. And then I'll try again next week. Can we please meet? I'm not around. You can come back there. Just. Until to a point where I was like, ah, you know what? Yeah. Because it's not working. What? I can't just drive and go to a house. Yeah. And just, then I'm a stalker. Then that's where I'm going to get protection orders. Yeah. I couldn't do that. Wow, man. I think a lot of people will identify with this challenge. I know. I still repeat. Mm. With all of this, I would like to get a chance one day for me to, me and her to just sit down and talk because I must have contributed something into this anger or into this. Do you interpret it as anger? I don't know because the last time I the last time I spoke to her or saw her, it felt like anger. Oh yes, yes. It felt like anger. I might be wrong, but it felt like anger. Because this will be published and she's likely to see it. Yes. Um. I don't know, man, if there's something you want to say. Because you've probably never addressed this no. directly to her. You know what? We we record a lot of shows. Yeah. And believe it or not, some shows don't make it. Mm. They don't end up being published. But published, yeah. For a number of reasons. Yeah. And one of the reasons, and I want to say this to you now, so mm. when this one goes out, yeah. you are aware of this small disclaimer. Mm. People would then come back and say, I think I said too much. <laughs> Trust me. I hear yeah. you. I hear and I you. get that. Because yeah. I respect you, I respect the, the value that you bring to us. Yeah. And 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 I say to you, thank you for sharing your story. Yeah. I will still say, don't worry about it. Mm. We will treat it like it never happened. Yeah. And we literally delete everything that ever happened in the yeah. studio. Yeah. So so should I get hit by a bus? <laughs> My guys won't get too the, excited. And say, ah, he's no longer there. Again, and then Play publish thing. that thing. Yeah. yeah. Because the respect is important for me. Yeah. Do you feel the need to address this here? I feel the need to address it with her. Aha. Uh -huh. But if you had to make the first smoke signal, what would you say right now? I would say I'd like to meet. Yeah. I'd like her to sit down with me. Say whatever she wants to say. I'm willing to listen. Yeah. But one thing I'm not going to say like I said before, this person was the love of my life. Wow. And we had a child. Mm. A child that is still there even today. A child that's going to grow up one day, Google us, and find these kind of interviews. Yes. And I wouldn't want our child to go through that. Yeah. 
because I wouldn't want our child like the Kaya FM that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that I moment. That to moment. Happen. I don't want our child to always think of her parents as parents that were fighting on social media. Yeah. I have been a private person all my life. Yeah. I would like to keep it. And I would like to respect my daughter for not exposing her to the media because she's not the actress. I'm no. the one who's acting. She's yes. not famous. I'm the one who's famous. True. She doesn't deserve the fame that comes with the parents' fame. And the negative fame. And the negative fame this is... that comes with it. She doesn't deserve it. So, what I can say, safely so, mm. swallow it. I'm a Zulu man. It's very difficult for a Zulu man to swallow, a, to swallow yeah. his pride. What I would say safely so is I would like to sit down with her mother, <sighs> see what we can fix or if it can be fixed or if it can't be fixed, yeah. but agree on it. But let her, my daughter, meet her siblings because at some point, me and the mother won't be around, mm. but they will be there one. And I imagine, and the answer is obvious, that you would want to build a bond with your child. Of course. Of course. I, I would love to build a bond with my child. Yeah. Jeez, man. My brother, I might not be rich, né? but I think I can afford my kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can. When I say my kids, she is included. Of course. Do, is she, is her presence, is it always conscious with you? It will always be, it will always yeah. You know when I go around and I shoot in Mabuban, I always even when I even when I'm far from my ex in laws mm. to be place, but I will always think oh, right, they are somewhere around here. Yeah, the my the daughter energy might, is in the neighborhood. You remember how I met my dad in the in a filling station? Mm. I and might you, be meeting my daughter like that. Dude. I might be meeting my daughter like that. Because you don't know how she looks like now. I don't know how she looks wow. now. What if SJ, who's my son, comes back home one day and says, I found a girlfriend. And he brings Oluak. <laughs> wow. Yes. I, I, I really hope and pray that you both solve it, man. I hope so, too. I mean, there was a time where I wanted nothing to do with, uh, not my child, but mm. the mother. But mm. then this way I say, you sit down and you think, how stupid were you? Or so you were just, did yeah. you understand that not wanting anything to do with the mother, you indirectly wanted nothing to do with your I get with at your that time, At that time, anger's driving you. You're not yeah. even thinking about the other things. You're just thinking, you did this, you did this, you mm. did And you're not even taking accountability of what you did. Yeah, of course. You're only blaming the other person. Oh, or ah, nah, 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 nah. It's you easy. Were, yeah, it's easy. It's always easy to shift the blame and put it on, on another person. Wow, man. I wish you well. This is a big one. Thank you. This is a big one. I wouldn't even know how to navigate through it. I don't know. You, you wake up every morning, you sleep, you, you work, you laugh, you smile, you hang out with people, at you have other kids to raise. At some point, it clicks. That ish. With everything that I'm doing, there's one more person missing. You eat. Do you know the concept of having a meal? But you don't know whether the other person is eating or not. I can't identify, I must admit. However, I since I have a dog, <laughs> I have the same feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not by any means equating humans to dogs. I know. Sometimes I know. dogs are way loyal, though. <laughs> but you get what I mean. I get you. Because I one, of, one of the biggest challenges we have with my dog is that it doesn't eat when I want it to eat. <laughs> So what do you do? I, 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 we play the hunger games. Yeah. I, I would put the food there and, and wait. If nothing happens, and, and they say dogs, you must give them privacy when they eat. I would let it be, let it be, and I noticed it didn't eat, and I remove the food. Because yeah. apparently it, it has to be hungry. Yeah. And you keep trying. You keep trying. Until actually. eventually it eats. I must admit, eventually it eats. However, say I do that and it doesn't eat, and I have to remove the food. Yeah. And then I have to go somewhere. And you're thinking, ish. <laughs> I know. Eish. I know. I'm talking about Eish. a dog. Yeah. Bear with me. Yeah. Oh, my only reference. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. So you, that is a constant thought. As a Zulu man, my brother, your blood is your blood. There's no way you can forget it. Yeah. Your blood is your. Blood. I know this thing is gonna be published and people are gonna come. Yeah, he didn't do enough. Yeah, it's, that's it, why I asked. It's fine. People can think whatever they want to think. Only two people know the truth. Yeah. Only two. And there's one who suffers through the truth. Wow, man. I, I cannot even begin to understand this. I've heard the story often by guys who are saying I'm denied 
yeah, an opportunity. I, I did a radio show not so long ago where I asked that same question. I said, Hi, not Carl and dot. Carl and dot. Carl and dot. Yeah. yeah. And guys called, and those were some of the issues that they raised. And you know, uh, King David, I want to say this on record. Yeah. Because the mother of my daughter has never said to me, you will never see your daughter again. I don't want you to see your daughter. I don't want blah, 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 blah. I can never say, actually sit here and say, she denied me access. Good point. Because she's never said that. Yeah. However, everything that I tried for me and her to meet and for me to see my daughter, it never worked. Even though she ne I would never mm. sit here and say, she refused. No. She didn't. She, nah. There's a phrase that says uh, your actions will speak louder. The conversation on, on Kaya, how did it leave you? What was the nature of Heart it? Heartbroken. Really? Yeah. It, it left me stressed. Heartbroken. It, it was not a nice conversation because it was the same thing. Mm. He did this. No, I didn't. You did this. Ah, it he was just another this. fight. It was another, another couple. Fight. Now this is on air now. Oh, boy. Now this is on air through a friend of mine, which I respect, because she was trying to mediate. Be a link. She was trying to mediate. Mapaseka did nothing wrong. Yeah. Mapaseka was just trying to mediate and was trying to give me, not us, mm. me a platform to say how I feel. Uh -huh. And then we ended up calling the mother and it didn't go well. I can't blame Kaya. No. I can't blame Mapaseka. I can only blame me and the mother. True, because yes. you took... A fight that you've had many times. You took it to radio. We took our flight that was behind closed doors and we took it to radio. Jar. That was you're, not nice. You're modern people. Eh? That was not <laughs> nice at all. I had to sit down and ask myself, is this what you are now? Where now? Hey, you think I knew a race better than this, man? Yeah, it's no longer nah, radio. No, 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 so no, you no, found no. yourself fighting back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in yeah. that moment. Yes, of course. I, get a I found myself having the need to feel like I need to defend myself. Yes. But that's what I'm saying. When you look at it now, you think, why Why did I have the need to defend myself? Have you ever been accused of neglecting your child? Has that statement ever come from anybody? Not not to my face. Yeah. Not to my face, but obviously. I mean, there's a cousin of the mother who works somewhere in Hartis, and apparently she told people, yeah, Mona Liso, told the colleagues. They didn't know that I knew the colleagues. Okay. Yeah. So she, the... she works somewhere in Village Mall in Hartis. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, Mona Liso, oh, you know, those things would be said, but not to you. So you then found out what, then, what she yeah, said. Yeah, but whoever she was talking to knows me. <laughs> and they came and said, dude, we know your story, but we just want you to know that this is what has been said about you. Jesus. Yeah, ne, how tiak. <laughs> this was meant to be a pleasant conversation. <laughs> I was it, can still, it can still be I a pleasant conversation. Ah, ah, but but my brother, at some point, we need to come back and face reality, yeah? Yeah. What, what do you wish uh, would happen now? Like, almost I immediately. Wish, I wish to look and have access to my house. Mm. I wish to look and know my family. I wish to look and come and drop off all I care. Utu thing. That's mm. what she calls, uh, that's a, her other name, yeah. my daughter. I wish we can take her for family vacations. Yeah. I wish the bad blood, if there was bad blood between me and Sulu, can just go. Because, dude, life life goes on. It serves no there's, one. There's no point anymore. Yeah. There's no point. Did you make a contribution to, to any of the names? Yes. Of her name? Oloake. It's, it's, it's a name from me. Ututleng is a name from her mother. It sounds like she goes with Olua. You probably don't even know. I hope so. <laughs> I'd be very happy if she goes with Olua. Yeah. I'd be very happy. Because it means, it means in it, some small way. It means way. somewhere, somehow, they still know that her father contributed something. Yeah. Just says, this was meant to be fun, out here, <laughs> But it's fine. I wipe more. She has. Ungbuzil and all it. In your palm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I wish. That's what I wish. I wish... I wish somewhere, somehow, you know, my brother, ang anger doesn't build anybody. Yeah. And resentment will destroy everything. What do you say to to people, and I think also the, the, the answer is probably very easy, mm. to people that are going through disagreements that you know, because you've gone through many. Yeah. Couples go do this every day. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's like, you know, 
two weeks from now, you look back at this and say, you shouldn't have. <laughs> we could have dealt with this much better. W- what do you say to that with uh, all this that you've learned and lost so much? My grandfather, Umar Daramban, may his soul rest in peace, he used to say, and I know this advice was given to ladies more mm. because Abantabata would always say, but we know uh, times mm. have changed. Mm. The only thing that I wish I knew then that I, the only thing that I, I wish I knew then that I know now mm. is taking your time before you respond. Yeah. Taking your time is very crucial because... In, in that, mo- in that yeah, heated moment. In that heated moment because the minute she speaks talking or the minute he speaks talking and you jump in, believe me, the things you're going to say then, you're going to regret them tomorrow. It might not be tomorrow. It might be 10 years later, but you'll regret them. Sure. And some things are just not worth it. Yeah. Some things are just not worth it. My brother, when I say some things are just not worth it, I mean even staying in a, in a meaningful in a meaningless marriage, it's not worth it. Mm, it doesn't true. mean we're talking here, Woody. Hey, Bambelela, Hotella. We have taken a friend of mine who came to us after playing a round of golf and said, Guys, I am leaving that house. I'm not happy in that house. I'm going to die. And we said to him, No, Andrew, his name is Andrew Nabila mm. Alexandra. There's a, a suburb outside Alexandra. Mm. And we said to him, No, you know, because we thought we know better. No. Yeah, no. When I was like, you're going back to that house. You can't leave a daughter with a, with a, you can't leave a, a mother with the daughter. You can't leave a mother with the daughter. And Rue, two weeks later, he was shot. He was dead. Wow. That was the last time I said, when a guy comes to me or when a lady comes to me and say, I am struggling in that house, I would never say to them, stay. Yeah. All I can say to them is, whatever you decide, if you think it's going to benefit you and the family, I'm fine with it. On that note, man, I can't believe it. My on guy. That, on that teaching note. My guy. Skaploma your cheese. Uh-uh. Me, bra? Yeah. Do you prefer Dingan Kumal or? Dingan Siabonga Kumal. DSK. So, this, this, this the one that we always know? The DSK. Okay, no, but there's another surname that we always know. Mugabe. Yeah. Do, we, do you do you, are you happy to continue to acknowledge it or why do you treat it? Because now when they say your name, they say Dingan Mukebe. Kakuma. Kakuma. Yeah. It's this thing. So what is the appropriate one to address? You know, you? my brother, as I said to you before, I felt like my family has expanded. I absolutely have no issue whether somebody calls me Mukebe, calls me Kumalo, I embrace them. Does it does the Mukebe exist in your official documents? No. Not anymore. Only Kumalo. You remember yeah. I said to you Mukebe was actually Pivotal was it yes. was very impo- it was very uh, a, a, a driving force True. for behind me changing yeah, my documents. He played a role. Yes. Yes. So so it was a he actually no because he actually wanted my kids when I have my to kids carry to the take right the right name. Right yes. Yeah. So he was a uh, yeah. It was very important. He was crucial. I told you I like him. <laughs> He's magic. <laughs> he sounds like a peaceful guy. Oh, he, he is. A very peaceful guy. Yeah. That's why I said people with his heart are not so many. That's why I said I don't think I could do the things that he did. Because I think if he was the one in the situation that we just spoke about, he would have done things differently. Yeah. I really like him. Thank you, brother. You shared with us an important story. You shared with us an insight into a world that some of us are not familiar with. The difficulties of men accessing his kids or his child. And for me, that is a big lesson. I'm gonna conclude with Trickly Come Dancing. What oh, was wrong with lo, lo. you? What were you doing there, Chief? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> or not, tell us, what was that? My brother, that thing, oh my, sometimes you need to have fun, bro. <laughs> hey, but that, hey, but that fun, but that fun cost me. Yeah, what yeah, did yeah. it cost you? What did it cost you? Hey, my brother, that, that thing is difficult, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, I even forgot about. But you know, it gained me a, lo- a good friend, Pimelo, my my oh, my yeah, yeah, yeah. We fought like it's nobody's business because he wanted me to do steps that I felt right. My man can do this. <laughs> she says, "Hey, you Let's are go. going to do." Yeah. It was fun. It was fun you until enjoyed it. yeah, I enjoyed it until we started performing and I, ish mena me bra. When I feel something is wrong, I don't keep quiet. Uh, you know, I enjoyed it until I felt to Ramaramoy Karar because we would choose a song 
And then when you're supposed to perform, they'll tell us the song is not available. But another it's couple, taken by others. Yeah, but I'm thinking, but this is our song. Yes. And Pimelo, Pimelo used to say to me, this is what happens Goody Dancy. In the real world. The real world yes. Dancy. This, this is, is what. And I was like, I then and I can't <laughs> I, I can't I was like, I, you guys, you vote me out this week. If you don't vote me out next week, I'm not coming. Yeah, basically. Uh, I'm not coming. Oh, so it was, uh, have, it was yeah. a, I was I'm like, out. I was like, I am out. Uh, but I'm you out. enjoyed a little bit that you I learned. did. What what did. dances did you learn? Yo, Do you remember? The yo, walls, yo, the cha cha, the quick the step. The cha cha, the quick you know, the one I enjoyed more was the quick step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We great. actually came number one with the quick the step. The quick step. Yeah. Wow, look at that. We actually came number <laughs> one got quick step. Aren't you surprised I know that stuff? <laughs> you know, just when I thought the interview's finished, you come boom. <laughs> no, no, no. I I I I did that when I was a kid. And I won, oh, I won trophies. But you have the body for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you it's, have the body for it. Lanky, so ah. I, I did quite a bit of that. So and the quick step was my favorite. But now, too. did you have to put your, you know, those tight pants? And... All of that. Ah, I All of it. that. The cat suit. Ah. That whole thing. That's one thing I never enjoyed because <laughs> the whole day we performed at four. Mm. We start wearing those things at nine in the morning. I'm oh thinking, yes, because ah. so, you guys were doing a yes, TV show. Yes, a TV show. So we had to rehearse before you wearing those things. <laughs> <laughs> I, this thing is and it's too showing much. everything. I, this thing is too much. But I we had fun. Oh, we did. And the beauty about about dance moves is you don't you don't quite forget them. I know you don't. Yeah, you still you can do a. a but but a that cha-cha. actually that actually proved to me that I've got rhythm. Yeah. So. Ah, my brother, that was nice. Because there's a singer in you as well. There is. There is. There from is. the from those days and from those days. Do you have ambitions though about the music? Uh uh-uh. None. Nah. I think I'm too old now. Besides, even the kind of music that I want to do now is not Which in fashion. Is? Uh, I grew up <laughs> wanting to do R&B and soul, and now it's no longer in ah, it's You not can long. try, man. I'm a bra- we need to do my piano now. That's what, <laughs> that's what we need to do. But one thing I like about South Africa's music audience is they love everything. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I was in Brazil, like, uh, May, and some people asked us, so where are you guys from like, South Africa? They're like, ah! I'm a piano. I'm like, <laughs> Listen to that. I'm like, wow. They're not Afro pop. No. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is my piano boys are big. But you have to understand, there'll always be that the Mandela of the story, mm. the one who'll stand out above everybody else. It doesn't mean the rest of the guys are I know. important. You I know. know. So That's true. We travel together with this. But you're right. The piano is a big genre yeah, it's worldwide. Huge. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. We've got DJs from KZN and Gauteng that are living abroad. When I say live abroad, they go there twice a month. They go to play and come back. That's it. They're killing it. Yeah. So no music hey, coming. No, 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 no. Unless you're called to do a musical. They'll have to be, yeah, they'll have to pay me a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they'll have to pay me a lot. <laughs> well, thank, thank you so you, much brother. again. Let's do that fist bump again. King there Dave. you go. Kiki Tingan Kumal to you. Mtungwalo. Mziligaz gama shobai. Ha. Put on the list of people just saying, Mzila Landi Landi Lazi Nyamazai. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had to Ooh, yeah, completely adapt to this new world. I had to. Wow. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. And I wish you well in all these these challenges and also with, with all the, you know, the things you dream of, the, mm. the things you wish to achieve. Because to us, you, you're one of those guys who, for me, it's a nice Rex to Rich story to nothing, from nothing. Hey, literally nothing. From nothing to step, one step at a time. Literally nothing. The barman. To having farms, literally from nothing. Imagine that. Your story for me is one of those romantic South African stories. <laughs> if you're in America, I would say it's the American dream. <laughs> Shop out, Tiago. Shop, my brother. It's great. King King David Studio Podcast.